Okay, so anyone who's going to listen to this episode, we do apologize for any sort of audio inconsistencies and pops and weird crackles going on. Had uh, weird audio experiences throughout this whole episode for some reason, and I really can't explain why. Everything's connected exactly the same. Um... And we hope that just stick with us through the episode and stick with us to the end. It is a long episode and we go th- pretty thorough through the book. Michelle remembers. Please listen and enjoy. Welcome to Valley Strange. Uh, this is episode number three. Uh, we talked about it probably in our first episode that we're going to be doing the books of the strange and this is what we're doing today books of the strange and the first book that we are going to talk about is michelle remembers and this is a book that kind of started a satanic panic back in the 80s and we'll get more into it after we do strange news but before we do that let's make sure we introduce everyone and we apologize if there's any audio Difficulties? Gremlins. There has been some weird stuff going on in our Perhaps audio feed right now. Uh, and um, frankly, I think it's... Uh, Dan in the neighborhood. Yeah, perhaps to accent the uh, current episode, you know. Yeah, some, right. Some oddities. <laughs> it's all those, that crazy spiritual energy coming through. Transformers trying to, blowing up. Yeah, man. Oh, trying, right. to, trying to stop us today. Yeah. The, the day trying to stop us. Uh, Halloween. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, in strange news today, uh, we're going to do a quick recap on what's happened, I guess, in the past month or so, well, this month, really. And the first article we're going to talk about is the Edward Snowden interview that happened on Joe Rogan and whether or not it would prove uh, that there were aliens in all those documents that he leaked or that he searched through. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. quick answer, No. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, did you see the interview, Bryce? I didn't see the interview. I read the news article about how he he uh, searched. What was it? Was uh, what database he search or he tried to much find any, some? Yeah, he, he tried had to find, access to everything apparently. And he said that he couldn't find anything on extraterrestrials or UFOs or anything like that. Um, well, I mean, well, they wouldn't it, call it that in like yeah. regular print. And if there is evidence, it wouldn't be on that level of clearance. Well, that, yeah, you think exa- so, right? And like, well, that, they, and that's what he said that too. Stuff, uh, that, yeah. They keep that stuff like top CIA brass only kind of thing. Yeah, uh, I mean, didn't didn't well, the military... he even said that he's like, if they do have it, it's not it's real well hidden or something to that effect. Like basically saying that what right. he's well, everything he searched for, he can find thing. But that doesn't necessarily. Prove yeah, but I mean, that he's, they have the, like it's under the assumption that he had access to everything. And I, I mean, I there's got to be, me, there's gotta be like different levels of. Uh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, every, I kind of figured. And there I there are different. He would have. There are different levels and different compartmentalizations to where people that don't need access to some things will not get it. Yeah, wouldn't it wouldn't be right. kind of smart too if you had stuff like that to just not put it on an electronic device. So we want wouldn't just keep it all paper because then well they, yeah, they can probably. keep it on servers in places you actually have to go physically to a terminal. Right, oh, that's you know, true. Yeah. A specific a point, yeah. non-networked. I mean, well, terminal, but oh, sort of like those in, guys. You with have the, to go to a building. Yeah. in a room to get directly to this yeah. piece of hardware it doesn't it doesn't talk out sort of like the guys that have like the cryptocurrency vaults like in the mountains and all that over right there. just like only they have access to it yeah i mean because i mean apparently bill cooper had access yeah. to this uh these files and he, well, he found out <laughs> <laughs> he didn't file his tax returns <laughs> yeah exactly r.i.p um but yeah so i mean they may not be completely all digitized or there's like again a certain level of clearance that you would have, even if you have "quote unquote" access to government files, you may not have access to these particular files. And they could just be encrypted at a whole different level. That's true. Yeah. All right. So um, Edward Snowden, thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> good try. Yeah, good try, man. And um, the other article we're going to talk about is uh, NASA's life on Mars. Announcement. Anyone catch this one? Anyone? 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 Uh, yeah. Talking about that crap. Well, I don't know. 
Well, basically, it's more like that was the gist of what they're gonna. Say. Well, it was it the head, the, the head, or the chief scientist at NASA was saying that he was uh, they're gonna be announcing life on Mars soon, possibly, but he's claiming we aren't ready for it. So uh, <laughs> well, the life no, we're, we aren't ready for the bacteria that they're gonna yeah, announce. exactly. That's on right. on Mars. If you yeah. look at the stuff that survives on Earth in environment, I mean, we've sent stuff up into the vacuum of space, and it it was still alive when we got back. You yep. know, when we got it back. Um, there's no reason to believe that microorganisms don't live on Mars, on the moon. Um, the moon, we've, we've been there, but I don't think they were actually trying to check for microorganisms and cross-contamination. But uh, th- there's no reason to believe that there's not stuff living on all the planets. Right, right, yeah. Or, uh, <clears throat> you know, no one cares about a single cell, you know, organism or cytoplasm or all that except you know the geeks everyone <laughs> wants it it's best summarized by a news story they did down here on channel five where they sent a reporter out to the university because they just announced oh we're going to go to mars and all that guy wanted to say he wanted to get some university student on camera saying do you think they're going to find little green men Really, that was a question. That no, mm-hmm. he repeated "little green men." It was insulting being a student in a physics and geology department that also had an astronomy minor to have someone. Well, do you think they're going to find little green men? It's like, no, I think they're probably going to find little cell, you know, single cell organisms. Maybe if there's water, mm-hmm. uh, but, but, but but not bipeds. Time. Yeah, uh, this 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 guy. He actually eventually changed stations, but I could never respect him as a reporter. <laughs> Right. Did he change his question and say, okay, a- if they're not going to find little green men, are they going to find greys? Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he literally... Or some variants yeah, I know. of color. I mean, he just... Little green men. Little green men. It's like, dude, chill. Okay, out of here. <laughs> right, Roland. Yes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's irritating. It, it is, man. Well, I mean, that's that's the kind of reporting you're going to get like, from someone Are you high? Yes. I oh. Someone who doesn't really like science, give a shit, or is sci- like science. He's a journalism yeah. major, for God's sakes. Probably he got a degree. He was working for the news station, I would think. Oh well, yeah, obviously. Something. But I mean, um, yes, how, many, how many how many times do you journalist. Are journalism or journalists ask stupid fucking questions to people all the time? You know? <clears throat> and True. something like that, he probably he, it's it's just all for like drama on the fucking TV, you know. I mean, right. he could have just. I liked it better when they were asking what we thought of about Iran getting the bomb. <laughs> I think that's kind of bad, but um, I don't think they're stupid actually, enough to when, blow us all up. When they bombed Iran, uh, they did find little green men. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, so that. Um, I mean, that's the kind of. I feel like that's a level of. Uh, Professionalism. Professionalism you're going to get in with these types of questions and stuff. Asking some random student some s- ridiculousness, you know? Right. I mean, you know what would have been funny? If, like, the the student had replied with some kind of, like, weird uh, UFO background or some kind of a... Uh, well, well, actually, there we have a little green man here on Earth. Uh, yeah. We actually have four types of races of uh, aliens you know, uh, living here on Earth. Up, had like, I not been a freshman at this thing, I might have done that just just to get him what he wanted but <laughs> none of us we were representing green. our department and trying to you yeah. know look like we were an educated bunch so, yeah. right right green men no it's uh, pleiadians uh, i believe they'll find those there perhaps the nordics <laughs> yeah. i hear if you want to find aliens you need to go to the uh what was it the holiday inn in paramus <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh our next little bit of strange news um it's Perhaps the strangest of all. The, yeah, probably the strangest of all news. Um, your favorite and mine pop punk star, <laughs> yeah, Tom yeah. DeLong. And this ain't yeah. a small thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, this is not a small thing. Yeah. Um, Tom DeLong uh, and the is it the military? Is the it's the army? Yeah, they're the contracting army. him and his. Or his three cadre of, of uh, I don't know pseudo scientists. I don't know what. I don't really exactly Cadry. know. Passive. Yeah. Uh, I don't exactly know. His, some kind of, I guess he, he has some kind of a 
well yeah but i guess he has some kind of like um agency or something like, i don't even know what is it that he's to the stars academy i was still not Alien exactly clout. sure what they do it's like it's like a combination of like um i think it's a combination of like scientists and like military people mm. and they you know the brightest minds are gonna go there man but. <laughs> and, well, got, and headed by tom delong yeah <laughs> Um, he just goes to the uh, graduation ceremonies with this, you know, cocked hat and everything like that. <laughs> no, uh, he's they're contracting him. To, they're contracting him to study alien alloys. I like how the uh, also the the news report has like quotation marks on the alien alloys. <laughs> like, <laughs> they should have put it on research. That's what they should have done. The quotation marks on that. Well, yeah, because I mean, uh, his his little product. organization there are the ones that released. The footage of the most recent um, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, quote unquote, yeah. uh, alien or well, military like alien footage so, or something like that. Or you, I'm sorry, I, I say well, alien. I, I'm gonna sorry. I say UFO footage. I'm not gonna say alien footage because I mean you can't really say for sure what no, exactly I mean, is flying if it's an unidentified so, flying just object, a fast terrestrial they unidentified they flying out, object military, or otherwise. Right. It, was, or, it could have been uh, just a fast-moving uh, plastic bag on the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so magic. They just sped up the yeah. the scene from American Beauty. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's all about parallax motion. Were they like? I guess it was pretty far away, and it was covering. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how they tracked the speed of it or whatever, but it seemed like it was going pretty fast. But I mean, that's not anything he's doing. He's just releasing information, and I mean, it Why? is Tom DeLonge. Yes, Tom DeLong. Repeat that again. So he, well, okay. The article says they're gonna. He's gonna be rece- researching, or his agency's gonna be researching uh, the alien alloy. But he's not a scientist. So my question is, like, how does he, how does he know the people that he's like not giving money to to do this aren't just like fudging the results to be like, yeah, Tom, it's alien, all right. And he's like, <laughs> awesome guys. Oh, hey, awesome. Let if me they want to send some samples, I know a place where there's an x-ray defractometer and someone that knows how to use it. Like if, if there's money, oh, I can't take money, but I, I could take uh, uh, maybe uh, a mention in a publication. I'd be cool with that. Uh, co-authorship. There we right, go. Right. That one <laughs> with Tom DeLong on the research paper. Um, yeah. Hey, as, as long as uh, supposedly they, I, were I have angry. no problem with who the other authors are. You change oh. that uh, Adam song. You know, I never thought I'd die alone. Be like, I never thought I'd get a contract. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, guys, I have a new Angels and Airwaves album in me right now because of all this information I've acquired. Okay, so um, that is strange news for this episode. I mean, there's a lot of shit that goes on. If you happen to f- follow either the MUFON website uh, or Coast to Coast, for that matter, you'll find a lot of shit, like uh, stuff on Yetis and Bigfoots. Oh, Coast to Coast got a lot of crazy stuff on there, man. Oh, there's also this other guy, Clive Lewis. Oh, yeah, Ground Zero. Ground Zero. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Is he Is he taking over, like, Coast to coast, or he just does. He's like, no, he does got it's a whole other show, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, well, it's, coast to coast. Used to, I don't know if it still does. But he used to come out on seven ten uh, a.m. and now, now it's Clyde Lewis. Essentially, like that's all I hear on there. It's the Ground Zero. I, I think they uh, dropped Coast to Coast and yeah. picked up his yeah. show. <clears throat> but it's like coast, coast to Coast is still like going on, though, right? I mean. It is. Coast to Coast is still, yeah. is still on. So it's just on a different station, probably? It's probably not carried down here is the problem. The um, other thing I will say is, for a while they were running the, the Ground Zero early, and then Coast to Coast was at its regular yeah. time. So they may have pushed Coast to Coast back. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm an adult now that, that works goes to work at 8 in the morning, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not really staying up till 4 in the morning and going to work at noon. Right, right, yeah. You know, it's a little difficult to keep up with things. Surprised you haven't listened to Ground Zero, Ray. No, I, I've heard it. I mean, I, I haven't heard it in like years, though. So. Um, it was no Art Bell. No, rest his oh, of soul. Of course not, right? Um, okay, so we're going to get into the meat of our episode here. Again, Should we be. are talking about the book Michelle Remembers, and this sparked um, satanic panic back in the 80s. Yes, Brian. Should we introduce ourselves at some point? You know, I thought about that. 
<laughs> we didn't already? Didn't no, we, right? I just assumed did. that we did, yeah. But you, I, you, you introduced earlier you said, yourself, and did then, I? yeah. Did I introduce myself? I think you did. Yeah, because earlier you were like, let's introduce ourselves, and then, and then I, mean, I guess like, I just wandered I'm off. Ray, and then Tangent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I... Oh, is that, uh, is that how it is, man? Ma- no, I'm no, Ray. No, uh, no. That's all that matters. All right, let's go on, guys. <laughs> uh, everyone else here is just the voice. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and I'm the audience talking <laughs> from the future to the past, which is the present. All right. <laughs> Um, my apologies because I cons- could have sworn we introduced ourselves. Actually, I thought about it when I was talking. I was like, "Did we?" Oh, I guess whatever. We just keep on going. Um, <laughs> if you don't know who's talking already, is Roland, my song? Name's- Roland, are you still there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I just started thumping. Yeah, that was it. just like a like a fuck ton of lag, but yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Um, if you haven't heard the other episodes, uh, I'm joined today by Bryce. Yes, Bryce. And he's talking. And then we have Brian. Hello. In-house. And then we have Roland remoting in from him, an undisclosed location in the Rio Grande Valley. Yes, bunker. Starbase. <laughs> I, I Starbase of safety. Dude. <laughs> Just... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, um, as we said, Ray's the only one apparently that matters. We'll, right, exactly. we'll just go. We can all be just co-hosts one, two, and three. <laughs> yeah, I want the be, audience. I'm not a co-host. Uh, I want to be guest uh, guest A. Guest day? No, guest A. Oh, and, guest uh, A. Uh, Bryce can be guest uh, one, and Brian can be. I'm the audience. We already we've yeah, established that's right. that. That's right. <laughs> Due to my lack of putting any effort into today's broadcast. <laughs> We're gonna do like Arsenio Hall. You're gonna like we're gonna involve the audience, you know. I have to Are say you... this is this is the side of the audience that likes. As a laugh track. Kibble. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, really dating ourselves there. Yeah, shit, right. yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. I think they already know my age. I was 13 in 1982. Yeah. And 13 in 1991. Yep. <laughs> 13. I'm currently 13 right now. Yeah. My age doesn't matter because I'm a badass. <laughs> Are you John McClane? <laughs> I could be. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just trying to time this real quick. Hold on. Oh, it's the... I really feel like I should fix this, and it's really bothering me. Fix the... what? The audio? This, yeah. What's happening? Because I don't know why the I... fuck this is happening. Well, now I'm uh, clipping, but there's not much. I don't think there's much we can do, except I'm going to move my microphone back just a little bit. Okay, so our next segment is the Satanic Panic Paranoia. Um, we we read the book Michelle Remembers, and this was the book that spawned, um, that pretty much got started, the Satanic Panic back in the 1980s. The book was published in 1980. 1980. Was it 1980 or 1982? I think it was 1980. Okay. Because I, I think, didn't they start the sessions in 1972 or something like that? Uh, they started the sessions like back in the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, for anyone who is unaware of what Satanic Panic is or what um, sp- spawned it back in the 80s or what it kind of entailed, uh, just a real quick thing about the book. This book was published in 1980, like we said, and this book is known to be... I'm reading it here. Uh, this book is known to most who are familiar with it as the book that sparked the satanic panic craze back in the 1980s with some overlapping into the 90s. Oh, yeah. And uh, prior to Michelle Remembers' publication, there was a heightened interest in the devil and Satan. And for those of you who don't know, there was a popularity, po- some popularity in movies and, me- and other sorts of media. Uh, for instance, The Exorcist was made in 1971, and that scared being. a shit ton of people. And The Exorcist 2 was made later, and it didn't scare anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, there was also The Omen. Omen. Rosemary's Baby. That came out in 1973, well. I think. Yeah. And Rosemary's Baby, also Which, dealing with the devil. Yeah. Roland, Roland, did you do that? What? Did you hit something? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All Did right. you do a thing? Uh, no. Uh, That's missed. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, and there was some other uh, books that came out, um, Satan Sellers, um, which is also about, oh man, I'm kind of blanking on that one, Bryce. Do you remember what that one's kind of briefly about? No, I'm sorry. I don't remember the Satan Sellers one, but uh, I know there was another one. I can't remember the name of it right now, but that was about kind of like her whole family was, what was it that, that uh, they're all pretty much like indoctrinated by a cult? Right, right, yeah. I can't remember the title of that one, but yeah, there's a few books on the subject, but I would say probably none of them are as, well, as infamous or famous as this one. Yeah, uh, most of the stuff that we've read uh, regarding the book itself, not just the book, um, there are many articles regarding the spark the thing that sparked satanic the satanic panic so, and it was Michelle remembers oh yeah um surprisingly and it was because um she talked about getting abused when she was a child five and i think uh when it, when it come, when it came to uh, children and abuse like people were very quick to respond or react in some way or another yeah this um i guess more or less indirectly uh was uh this also kind of sparked the whole uh there was a daycare sexual abuse daycare allegations got a lot of people in trouble because not to say that obviously if you have if it's your child i mean you want to believe them but uh some people just kind of took everything at face value that they were saying and this i don't know if this was more in the 90s though or is this in the 80s the whole uh daycare sexual abuse that was in the 80s for sure yeah but yeah because that one also had a lot of like connotations of satanism in it and uh there was some pretty outlandish stuff that these kids were saying and the mom and dad were just like, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> hey, what what year did the whole West Memphis... That was in that the was 90s. In 90s. That was yeah. in the 90s. So that kind of like is the overlap of the 90s, the West, West Memphis 3 and the whole uh, documentary that they made. Oh, uh, that Satan Seller, that one's by Mike Warnke, which he was a... Wasn't he a... Um, a comedian turned like evangelical evangelist. Uh, yeah. American, uh, Christian yeah. evangelist and a comedian who's exposed in 92 for inventing yeah. stories. They were just talking about him on last podcast. Uh, were they? Yeah. That's funny for the, <laughs> the vampire one. Oh, okay. Right, he was right, right. viewed as an expert in the eighties and then he was debunked. Um, I was trying to look for his book <laughs> or whatever the Sa- the Satan seller, right? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Account of Satanism from from that guy, former Satanist, high priest, and co-founder. Excuse me, founder of the anti-occult counseling organization Alpha Omega Outreach. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was pretty much it. Like, I mean, I don't. I got to get a charger. Hold on. Do you have a cord? No, I don't. What kind of cord do you have? USB C. There's one in here. Oh. Oh, I found oh, wait, a USB C. Yeah. I don't I've have one. You have to call a Jamie though. Quick little. <laughs> Intr- uh, or uh, description of the book. So, okay, go ahead. It's uh, it was written in. The story goes like this: A young orphan boy raised in foster homes drifted from uh, family and friends. He uh, had to join a secret, all-powerful satanic cult, uh, descending into <laughs> a, a hell of uh, a drug addiction. Uh, then he uh, rose to the ranks of Satan's uh, position. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, to the high priests, and uh, he had 15, 1,500 followers in three cities. Uh, unlimited wealth and power at his disposal was provided by Satanism's highest echelon, the Illuminati, and then he converted to Christ. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's how it ends. <laughs> this is very similar to that uh, other book. Yeah, he came to set them free that people still buy even now today. He, have you ever had anybody ask for that? Actually, book? someone just asked for that yeah. like yesterday. That's funny. That's the same thing. It's a, I think that was written by a late a woman, and she claims that she was, was like, like Becca, a, Rebecca Brown. Yeah, Rebecca yeah. Brown. And she claims that she was like hardcore Satanist, and then she became a, well writing Christian books. So there you right. go. You know, you know what's funny is that now, um, uh, if I may tell a quick story pull, pull regarding s- something like that, is that one time when I was at church, mm. there was a gentleman who came in. Um, this, I guess, evangelist, uh, not well known by any means. Uh, he just kind of a traveling evangelist person, and he was giving his testimony. And basically, mm. he was saying he, he was a high priest of the satan of, of Satanism mm. and the Satanic Church and all this kind of stuff. 
And he the was. way he was speaking, yeah, he was because he was converted to Christ. Right. But the thing is, I, when he's was telling his story, I was like, I don't believe this motherfucker. Yeah. I was like, how did the, how is this guy, yeah. the head, one of the head priests of the Church of Satan, and, and that seems to be a typical. Why did he just? Um, look, that's a common story. Whatever. Yeah, you wouldn't expect to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it didn't seem like he was. He didn't seem like he could be that person. Like he, I feel like he may have like dabbled in like some kind of brujaria kind yeah, of stuff. Okay. And then they, they, to amp up the story, they were. I mean, he, he wasn't um, wearing like a cowboy hat and had like a really long mustache. Or? No, no, not at all. He was just. Uh, <laughs> He said he was typical an evangelist. Mexican guy. Well, I mean, he was like a traveling evangelist, and, oh, really? and I, I wish of, if, if I could have the audio. Did he do some laying on of hands on you, Ray? Do some laying no, on no, he didn't do any of that. that. By that, by that point, <laughs> I was like pretty resistant to any of that kind of stuff. Ah, okay, um, huh. He, the Got story that he, the, the story that he was telling or, was like, hey, the troll told voice. Told <laughs> it was completely unbelievable. I'm sorry. Like, like the guy just didn't sound or seem like a person Let's who get could. Get that guy on the podcast, man. Sorry. They should get that guy in the past. I didn't even remember. We his name, think though. you're full of shit, yeah. right? <laughs> just bombard yeah. him. <laughs> Defend yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Satan? Yeah, got nothing. Well, we see, we're, see rebuttal, that. bitch. <laughs> you know, like um, during uh, my church going days, uh, there was many people that came through that kept saying that they were. Um, witches and that they were high oh. priests and all this kind of stuff and I was like this I believe make... in Satan <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because this <laughs> this didn't make any sense with the way they were speaking you're like damn there's a lot of Satanists out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> right there's a lot of uh, Satanists in this like very Mexican underground there's they, like they... In, in the in Skid Row in San Benito you know <laughs> Skid Row like... oh, I like that's a good description of... <laughs> they've uh... all got like uh, speaking tongues for dummies or whatever some shit <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Wait, you gotta you gotta write that book, right? <laughs> Speaking in tongues for dummies. Hey, man, oh, the, the, the idiot's guide to uh, it's just all written in tongues. So it's just a bunch of fucking straight up gibberish and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be fifteen ninety nine. Suckers. Yeah. Now the other uh, book that so we're oh, speak, sorry, speaking of that is that um, they most of the time they were just coming through to collect. Mm. You know. Oh. They were oh, always trying to like grifters. get money from yeah, get money for the next town over to I guess they were just trying to build their wealth or whatever. Okay. And I mean this is I mean it Straight seemed like somewhat maybe. lucrative to do this, you know? So um, clicked in your head, you're like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh but yeah, man, like I heard so many quote unquote satanic priests come through saying that they changed their life. And oh, uh, right. we're born again Christians now, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. I, I can't, I can't very well fathom that you were in any sort of high standing in like some kind of right. priesthood, you know? Like you just you named yourself know, that, you know? Yeah, right. It was a, it was a church of one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Hell, Satan. I'm Bryce. I'm sorry. You were gonna say. Oh, something? I wasn't talking about that other book we were mentioning, the Satan's Underground. Uh, apparently, it's you know sort of similar. She, her whole family was like basically indoctrinated into the Church of Satan right, or right. some kind of satanic cult, and she got out. But what's kind of interesting is uh, she she wrote the book under the alias uh, Lauren Stafford or Stratford. But uh, later, she went on to assume the guise of a Holocaust survivor <laughs> right. by the name yep, of Laura, yep. Grab- Laura Grabowski. Grab- yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so Laurel, a lot of, Laurel little... Rose Wilson. So there you go, man. If you can't make it as a, <laughs> a fake uh, survivor of a Satanist, satanic cult, man, I guess just adopt the guise of a Holocaust survivor, man. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's getting harder and harder to do that nowadays. Well, yeah. No. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she died in 2002, but... Um, yep. So, yeah, man. There was a few books written about it, but again, I would say that probably none of them were as influential as Michelle remembers. And um, I don't know if you wanted to get into this later, Ray, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it now that uh, actually we're wanting to make a movie out of it at one point, but they... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they they initially wanted to make a movie regarding this uh, Michelle Remembers, and it could have been pretty graphic if they were going to go yep. all out on this. But um, we don't have to get into specific why they didn't make it, but just suffice to say, uh, I think if they had made a movie of this book, it would have been like it would have just even furthered amped up 
Oh yeah, for sure, man. I mean, oh man, yeah. Because they would have been I mean, based on true uh, events. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, All of it. I think like this, this, this would have yeah, been like, like more ridiculous than The Exorcist. Even this show would have been playing on Lifetime for like fucking years to come. Um. Okay, so uh, let's get into the book uh, real quick. Uh, so, again, Michelle Remembers, published in 1980. We want to talk briefly about the characters of this book. So we have Michelle Smith, who is the Michelle of the Michelle Remembers. Mm -hmm. And she is the person who is recounting her abuse that she allegedly experienced when she was five years old. Five years old, yep. And... It was. It progresses um, throughout the book. Yeah. I we won't get into it. We'll get into the the abuse in just a minute. Culminating in right. a uh, fever was, dream yeah. of. <laughs> it was about eighty. Like well, it said on there it was. Uh, I forgot what last. I'm sorry. What? Like I was trying to look up. Oh right, it was from September seventh, nineteen fifty-five, to November twenty-seventh. Five. Yeah, it was uh, 80, eighty-one days. days eighty-one days yeah. of abuse. Yeah, and that's I don't know if the thing. number eighty-one is significant in any way. Uh, uh, there's a few. Uh, well, I don't know if you want to get into that now or later. Yeah, yeah, on, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, well, yeah, there's a few. They they bring up a few um, numbers and uh, mm -hmm. what was it? Uh, was it twenty-three or what was the number that they oh, were on? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. So the whole bit was that like apparently Satan is very big into math. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Right. He, he's a mathematician. And, uh, he's very big like into arithmetic. He, he's got the significant. There's a significance to all the numbers. You Hold on. I had it right here. I was going to bring Just it basic up. addition. Like, no. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, no, he's, no he's not. Stuff, yeah. Like. It's like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he, he's not big into the uh, the calculus or the differential equations. <laughs> no, no, he, yeah, no, he does he's just adding like some stuff really together. elementary. One plus one equals the devil kind of stuff. Like it's really <laughs> funny. Um, hold on, I gotta yeah, write. Taught me that I in need school. to find another place to use that one. One plus one <laughs> equals the devil. Well, and that's we could, why we think about I it, always uh, thought math symbolically in, got two in horns elementary and, school you know, uh, was okay, bad. So... They shouldn't have been teaching us addition. <laughs> It's the I, I want to say it's twenty three. Is the it's uh, uh, twenty eight? Is the twenty eight the, the gates? The opening of the satanic well, future. And that was another thing too. Uh, that was kind of confusing because originally they said twenty seven, and then he says something like right. n plus one mixed in one of the Ryan. Anyways, that, that's later on in the book. But yeah, exactly. I tried to do the math uh, on it because uh, so twenty eight is a gateway. Yeah, I'm not. So sure. every month, uh, the thing is, twenty seven no, is the number of God. Twenty seven years, apparently, the, the devil, of according like to it. he reappears <laughs> um, <laughs> to do a black mass or something like that. But right, yeah. I, was, but the, the I, lunar, I was looking up the whole lunar cycle. Twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to find out if there was any uh, uh, significant events that happened like twenty eight years after the. Well, I guess she claimed the thing happened, and mm -hmm. uh, the only biggest thing I could find out was there was there there was a year that they had that big Haitian uh, earthquake, and uh, right. So, so but I, I was at like, one point uh, he does mention wait, what, some stuff like that. What year did this allegedly happen? I, oh man, I can't remember what, when the, uh, But you gotta, um, you gotta, yeah. But when is that the is that the culmination of the whole ritual? Because it's that. What year was it? Because it was it was only eighty one days that it happened to her. Or was yeah, like it was nineteen fifty. Well, Roland, yeah. you said it. It was, it was like nineteen fifty five. What month again? Uh, it was uh, September to November to late early September to late November. Uh, mm, 1983 81 81 days and uh what happened in 1983 well, right so they don't they don't mention it we're well, right yeah that's that'd be something to look into because at the time like she had when the this book finished I'm, she still I'm, had like another five I'm, years to go i'm doing it right now oh okay <laughs> um but yeah so he mentions a couple of numbers here uh let me go ahead and just read the uh uh, let me Population just of the world the is estimated at 4.72 billion in 1983. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, the so Zimbabwe's civil war broke out. <laughs> An earthquake in New York. Oh, oh that's kind of interesting. He does have a bit where he mentions, uh, like, he tries to oh, predict the, the future. Yeah, the politics. Like, it, he mentions well, like it's, a it's few. basic Armageddon stuff, right? Essentially. Right. Like, now, uh, yeah. just real quick, who is the person who's making this prediction? Do you want to talk about this right now, man? Let's do it. You know what? Okay, go ahead, Roman. Well, it's 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 the devil. So it's the devil. <laughs> yeah. Second, second, second. It's, it's Bill Zablitz. Two. My good old <laughs> Beazel Bud. My Beazel buddy. There you go. My buddy Bales. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, just real quick, uh, before we go into more detail of that, um, we were t- again, we we're talking about the characters. We said Michelle Smith, again, she is the person who is the main character yeah. of this book. Right. And we have Dr. Lawrence Pazder, who is the therapist. Uh, Assuming it's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. Is it Pazder? Pazder, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Who is helping her right. recount these yeah. in a very unorthodox way. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I would say quite unorthodox. It, uh, like, I mean, uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm not so, I'm, I'm not so sure I understand necessarily because I re- I'm, I'm reading this from like my half on to the end. But uh, it just seemed to me like, I mean, her recounting is weird as fuck, right? But like his methods s- seemed pretty straightforward. I mean, that I could tell like, isn't he just sort of like sort of hypnotizer and then. Well, yeah, well, I don't uh, know how much. Uh, well, what I, happens? What happens in like almost like the very beginning is that like, um, for was, instance, I, when she's she's going through her, like uh, he, she's uh, like hypnotized, so to speak. Oh, right. like, like she, he, 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 he done like, before, right? Yeah, there's, he's like touching her, yeah, and like getting real close to her and stuff. Oh, like, and a, I say touching her hands, yeah. like getting like really close, mm-hmm. almost to the point where like their faces are like. Yeah, there's okay. a picture yeah. of them together, like they're laying down, both of their eyes closed, and that's uh, not... That I used to breaks, call that just napping. Yeah. <laughs> that just breaks... I would say that breaks a lot of uh, yeah, ethics. Yeah, right. Um, so, <laughs> in my, by my end of the book, to or part of the book, like, it doesn't it doesn't mention any of that at all. Okay. Uh, so, that's why I was kind of like, oh, okay, I didn't I didn't know that. that well, we, we've moved past all of the ethical quandaries by yeah. the second part of the book. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all that other stuff is in the very beginning where um, they're, it seems like they're getting a lot closer, um, Michelle and Dr. Pazzer. Um, and like, again, the way he, she, she always wants him to be close and he's always, she's, he's always letting her know that he's going to be right there and he's yeah. like touching right. her hand. He's very supportive, and, like almost yeah. overtly so, but at least by the, the point when I'm reading it, uh, He's like anything she says, like oh, you know, like I'm scared, and he'll he'll immediately respond with like the opposite. I well, well, you shouldn't be scared, or don't be yeah, scared. Yeah, that's another thing that I thought thing. was kind of strange. And I always like he, um, I was I was he, reading it and kind of thinking like, is is he really supposed to be that like sort of nurturing or like like almost well, in like a like a my fatherly thing with kind it of weird? And I'm not. I mean, way I don't really know no. the the uh, I guess the procedures for some of these therapies. I think it's called they call it a recovery therapy or what's a rec- Basically, it's regressive memory therapy, it, but it's like... Um, recovered memory. Recovered memory theory is what they call it. Like a lot of the uh, abduction. Yeah, it's people. very similar right, to that. Right. But um, I, I thought it was interesting that he would keep pushing her, even though she wasn't comfortable, or she claimed she wasn't comfortable to do it, but he kept like saying, like, no, I you know, right. I need to go further. And, and, and he like, rationalized it interestingly enough. Either. Yeah. I mean, it... it, it I can see, like, that's sort of what I was thinking, too, uh, because uh, there were several points where she was like, I don't want to do this. And he's like, OK, uh, like I, and I was kind of expecting him to, to kind of just like give in and be like, no, you're right. Let's take a break. And he would say, OK, look, this is what actually happening. What, what's happening? Like, you've been conditioned and brainwashed uh, to not want to recount these particular memories because we're reaching like a specific point. Like when they find out, like how some of her memories coincide with within the rituals uh they figure out the more she uncovers like the the more fucked up things are getting and like and each in each session or, or, or with each of those events there's like a like another layer of uh, or, or of like a, of like re- repression that that's been instilled into her and um so she kind of just yeah she she's at first she's like no I don't want to do this and then he tells her like well if you don't like you're not going to get any better so we need to do this. <laughs> so like, yeah, it does seem a, a, a bit like he's he's pushing her for his own his own ends because he's like, look, uh, this is really important to you. Like, I want to help you, but also like, there's a lot of information here that we can use that has never been, uh, uh, you know, documented before. And so we need this as much as you do. And uh, but like, he was very matter of fact about it, like uh, as well, which which I kind of. I guess was because like because he said that I was able to like okay like I wasn't really able to I wasn't thinking of any arguments like oh man this guy's being a total prick like no he he's actually like very he seemed very rational about it uh yeah when right, right. when when she was uh, like just very hesitant and then and then it turns out he's right like she just goes on to describe this fucking even more you know ridiculous thing and he's like see 
like how do you feel now and she's like i feel a lot better and you know okay you know what like I'm i want to go and do this off there. Could you to say that prepare one myself or to, to help myself but um how so like uh ray ray like in the beginning of the book i'd wanted to ask like how did this sort of like she, how did these uh memories or whatever happen to her was it just like sudden or did she just no, like uh, what happened was that like she had suffered a miscarriage mm-hmm. she oh wow and she, she was going through depression. depression and she had gone through gone to dr pazler in the past for other sort of mm-hmm. like therapy but when she got married and then of course she was trying to have a family right. she suffered a miscarriage so she was getting she got really depressed so she decided to go back to Dr. Pazzer and she was seeing someone else and they had suggested him again mm. and he went back, she went back to him right. and so they started slowly uh, doing like uh, doing the therapy sessions and again, it, I think it started with that uh, ritual, right? But Bryce, why, I, I think she, why did it go back to her childhood specifically though? That's just where she started to regress because she started speaking yeah, as a in child. a way. Um, she started speaking like a child, like a five year old kid. And I go, I don't know if the age was necessarily uh, pinpointed at first, but the mm-hmm. way that she was responding to uh, How? Her, reg- her regression is that she was speaking like a child. How did he, <clears throat> like, but I, I, how did wrong. he guide her into that? Is what I what I'm sort of confused. Yeah, that's a good like, point. Because uh, he just like you know hypnotize her, and all of a sudden she's like jumps back to when she's a child, or like. Well, it didn't I would happen. Imagine, it didn't happen right know. away. It happened like after a few times because I think in the very beginning of the book they. Because if she's going there to see him for de- for depression, it's not normally that they just jump into like hypnotherapy yeah, for sure, depression. Sure. So see, no, no. So I, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of wondering was wasn't she having like. Uh, like dreams or nightmares or something in effect, and she was. She, she was, was, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I thought. Or I wasn't so the, sure. the dreams in the night, the dreams were kind of like sparking some kind of, um, I want to say the confusion or some kind of uh, curiosity anxiety. within her to kind of like, uh, yeah, there was like a bit of an anxiety now, and stuff like that. And she was uh, apparently well, one part of the book. He mentions that she starts coming to him like uh, she starts dressing all in black. Right, oh, right, yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, embracing that's all the darkness. Now. She was, yes, she was getting off. Yeah, getting well, the nail, the nails painted now, black. Now, hold on. I do have a question going back to what Roland was describing, how the the therapist convinced her to go to to continue this and go further in where things were getting more dark. Uh, I yeah. guess the best description, darker and right, just right, heavier. Yeah. Depraved. Yeah. <clears throat> Depraved. Um, now, the therapist actually told her that things, you know, each one of these is getting darker and we need to see. No, how- no. Well, well, I think it's just as, as, as she was. Does he, <clears throat> well, at I, one point. I, I, oh. I didn't hear. You, you said the, the therapist oh. told her what? Does, right? Was it the therapist that was to convince her to keep going? Did he actually say, you know, things are getting darker and we need to see how far this goes? Uh, yes. Well, there's, yeah. So it's, that makes me wonder if, because the subconscious is a very tricky thing. If he did not somehow lead her down this path of, me, I'm taking the role of a skeptic at the moment, right, right, of producing what well, he wanted. most people do with this book, but <laughs> um, uh, it's pretty. Uh, my, my mind has he, made up a whole thing about how much worse this could really get. Yeah, uh, there is a there is a there's a couple of there is one spot where they do. Uh, he does take a break for a while. He, he has to go. He goes on like a family vacation or something. Yeah, like that. they go on a, like a two week hiatus. Him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but she like straight up calls him like while he's out there. Yeah, but uh, he there is this point in the book where he kind of like, well, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it, but I'll just say there's a, there's a, a part in the book where he's kind of like, well, like I got to kind of stop this. Cause like I, the stuff you're telling me is like, it just sounds a little like way out there. Right. And, yeah. Uh, he reached a point where he was like, okay, yeah, uh, I've had I need to think about this, this. And then, yeah, which I'm like, getting, Oh, this is getting na- a little far now. Yeah. That's like, all right, man. Yeah, but, well, like, and, and it's funny because he's they're they're, well, he's very devoutly Catholic. Throughout the whole oh, yeah. thing, like they 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 bring in like Spoiler. several different priests. He's friends with a bishop. Like, <laughs> yeah. Has, well, um, that's how the book starts off. Is they yeah, they're yeah. going oh. straight. They go to the vat. They're in. The, yeah. It, okay. The book is. Was, wait, is that actually? You know, is that the Ford? Or uh, uh, the, the introduction because he goes. They go. They it starts off with them in the Vatican trying to see this cardinal. Yeah. Well, they, they, he, she first he first brings oh, her to uh, Father Leo uh, Robert. Right. Yeah, 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 and that's the the hippie, the, the hippie uh, priest, the hippie priest yeah. who <laughs> wears jeans and has a beard and yeah. shit like that. Right. Right. Yeah. That's an actual description, no by color. the way. 
Yeah, oh. that was like a way to like comfort her. Like, well, that was another yeah, thing too about this book, man. It's like appearances are real big in this book. When they when they first introduce uh, Pazder, he's like, oh, he's a handsome ten, like uh, I don't know, something like that. And he's talking right. about how great he is at tennis and shit. I was like, mm, yeah. aren't you writing the book? <laughs> this is uh, this is all fluff, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like a lot of the introductions that they they take, especially like. I think there's at some point during the book, um, he's describing Michelle as like, um, not a, like an ugly person, but like uh, she's unflattering. <laughs> not say unflattering, but she yeah, he, yeah. you could you could tell yeah. by the distraction that he he finds her a, a, just a bit attractive. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay. You know? mm. And it's almost implied the way he talks about that, and and again that just brings up more ethical questions as to how mm-hmm. like he's conducting these therapy sessions because um, I, I i did i did like sort of sense some like uh you know chemical undertones or whatever intention uh between the two of them from from my part to the end and i was right, like right. uh i hope they're chemicals not gonna end up together are they us. like that's no i'm glad i wasn't the only <laughs> like, one that's that was gonna, gonna be go weird <laughs> <laughs> um very unethical <laughs> they right. should keep the yeah. chemicals not between them yeah. no <laughs> Just, yeah, just inside. Not none <laughs> of that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, I guess that's just a kind of a quick um, background of the the char- two main characters. Uh, we do have other characters in the story, which yeah. is the, again, like we mentioned, uh, mean, the father Leo Robert. We have Malachi, who is right. like the main guy of. Uh, I guess the head of the the head of the cult or, the or, cult or is he rituals. Amish? No, I don't know. <laughs> right, really I specify. Thought... We have the nurse. Uh, we also have Michelle's mother, who is the kind of like right. the person who's brought her to these rituals. The uh, woman. And no the mention back. of the father. Or... Well, the father. The father is just uh, an abusive person that well, kind of leaves at some point. Yeah. In the, in this, again, this is, is the beginning of the is book. Is Satan yeah. in here? Uh, oh yeah. Yes. Satan or, is a character. Yeah. Um, and he right, likes uh, math. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a math. And he likes to speak in rhymes too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, so, I mean, ry- rhymes are the math of the spoken word. It's there was okay. an interesting before, before little we get into like uh, Satan here, character uh, and stuff. When you, when you start um, reading well, his rhythms or whatever, like there's two other well, not our characters, but there's two other people in the family don't get mentioned, and that's right, actually right. a very oh. big. Okay, thing later on. You, you tell me then, because I, again, I didn't read the second half of this book. So no, I'm not talking about the book. It's it's not mentioned in the book. Oh, it's not that's mentioned the thing in the book. Right, right. Okay. That, that later up that oh, will later become siblings, right? a yes. Well, her I, was, I don't know if you want to mention. Yeah, her yeah siblings. there's no mentions of the there's no mentions of the sister. I think she's not an only child. No, no, no she's, she's not. not. She has siblings. And that's, that's, oh, wow. that's one of the big controversies of the book is that there's no mention of no. where the hell the kids at this time. Where the there siblings. isn't. Well, they're busy in the rituals. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. And Michelle, they, Michelle's they, like, oh, I don't give a shit about them. I just want to talk about and me. And they loved it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had, had a great like, time. They had a great time with this these rituals. This is Michelle's book. I ain't talking Crawling about Crawling around them. on their bellies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's, um, so let's get into the... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Roland. Were we gonna? How how did you kind of want to approach this? Are we gonna sort of take like a spoilers free bit into this? No, no, or? we're 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 gonna get into break the rituals themselves yeah, and so how the like the per, the progression of the rituals. Okay, so um, again, since Roland, uh, you didn't read the first half, uh, you're gonna no. get like the first parts of the right the hypnosis therapy and what she's remembering. I I, so, I got all the uh, the extra juicy bits. The end, right, right. So. You probably got like the, the the crazier part of the story. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. It was uh, uh, very, very entertaining. To that. So, um, the first part, uh, I know Bryce and I can speak on this. Um, when she, f- the one of the main parts in the very beginning of the story, is that she remembers, quote unquote, a ritual or what she describes as a ritual. And she describes like these people kind of like bumping into each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, there's uh, again, there's women and men in there and her mother's there too. And she's kind of just there. Um, so it's pre twerking days, kids. <laughs> pre twerking days. <laughs> um, she, she describes something uh, as knives protruding from uh, the men. 
Mm-hmm. And I can only assume that these are penises. Oh, yeah. It, the first the first part of it's very symbolic. Like, well, the way she describes it, I guess it's supposed to be like, again, like in the mind of a child, I suppose. But, yeah. Um, or a, a, a mind of a child who keeps saying that the knives are like almost like stabbing yeah. the other people. And yeah, that's okay. just that's just fucking right. <laughs> that yeah, it, you can see, you can hear that. That's just yeah. fucking. And at some point uh, during this ritual, she sees her mother kind of sitting on a couch, and she has a lump, which she she just she just says it as describes it as a lump, and um, she feels the Not need to like know. yeah she yeah, feels yeah. the need to help her mother, so she goes over to this lump because it seems like her mother is in distress. So she hits this lump like Let once or twice. Let me help you, mom. All right. Kick, <laughs> prop kick. <laughs> she, she hits the lump and then everyone in this yeah. ritual starts hitting this lump. And then it kind of come, comes, out, comes out at some point that these, this lump had red shoes. And I, can, I gathered from this description is that her mother was getting head from somebody or maybe they were fondling underneath Wait, the clothes or something. Yeah, because it says the lump is under the shirt. And so I was thinking, like, okay, well, either somebody's, like, sucking on her, like, titties or something. <laughs> or, like, somebody's got her. I, actually, when I first read it, I was thinking, like, okay, somebody's, like, gr- like groping her. Like, they got her, right, they got right, their yeah. hand. Because it doesn't really say, like, but then, of course, like, later on, the way to describe it, when she hits it, it's, like, bleeding. And then they so also are, like, beating the crap red out of it. Shoes, so it's, it's a person. red shoes? Right, right. Well, see, we it's find got that those out new later. Jordans. <laughs> That's right, bro. We find it out later is that like, um, again, uh, there was blood everywhere, and she just keeps saying that she she's just trying to help her mother. She didn't mean to do that. She's yeah. just trying to help her mother. So, right. um, at some point, she goes into another therapy session, and she recounts the main guy whose name is Malachi. Uh, they're in a car. Well, actually, right. oh, is there something that before that? I, I think I there is. I, I oh, shit. see. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out how they get when they when they first get going into the ritual. Because isn't there something having to do with the mom, like kind of changing a little bit or like being a little colder? But I know there's like there's the first. I, if I'm not mistaken, the first ritual part of the ritual was like she's on a she's laying out on something and they're like putting stuff in her like these different colors. She, she mentions like different colored rods that they right, have like, like uh, different colored sticks and they keep uh, yeah and they keep putting her and they keep putting her like in different positions of a they, clock they put or them up an, her uh, compass but like, yeah pretty yeah, much yeah and uh they put her in different they people keep coming she, she's talking about people turning her they keep yeah, turning her north like west yeah, they're like, east and she's like yeah and yeah, she also yeah and she also recounts a lot of like how she coped with it so she has like this imaginary teddy bear Imagine. And an imaginary friend that, uh, like, she envisions that comes. And she also imagines herself as a clock. Um, just really yeah, I didn't understand the clock thing at all. There's some kind of significance to it. I'm not sure what it is. But she just imagines herself as a clock because, like, she says that um, she didn't have any power while she was under control of these people. So as a clock, she's like, everyone obeys me because they have to obey time. It's really weird, weird stuff. Yeah. Weird weird imaginary stuff it's like i don't know what she was like but uh, she claims these are all things that she would use to cope with all the stuff that was going on but if i remember i think that was the first part is when they and then later right. on she's like she's there in the in the i guess it's like a party or like it's right, right, whatever right. they're having and that's when everyone's like having yeah, sex the an, knives an orgy, yeah. an orgy yeah. <laughs> well hey it was the 70s man so you know they had the key parties like the <laughs> right. um but um yeah, and that's when he sees the the lump and he hits it and then uh they also for some reason they all start beating the shit out of i don't really understand yeah she does something that pisses them off, like or like I guess she because she keeps ruining the the way she describes it. She keeps ruining the rituals like, by doing something. So I guess she did something, and they're already mad at her. They stop, and then they're all I guess fucking or whatever, and then that happens, and she hits the lump, and then it kills. I guess well not kills, but then they kill that person. So. Yeah, right, right. And then again, at some and again, when she goes back to uh, uh, this therapy session, there is a point where um, she talks about being in a car with Malachi. Yeah. And the dead body, pretty much, and basically they're trying to kill both of them, or trying to make it look like an accident. make it look like an accident. So basically, they're trying to kill Michelle and make it seem that like, like the corpse like died in that particular accident. Yeah, because and uh, Malachi is like floors the car and like jumps out. <laughs> he jumps out of the fucking car, it's like an action movie style. Yeah, like. and um. It never gets. It's, it's never clear as to how he convinced 
from the authorities that like well yeah what what happens is that she describes the fact that uh, Malachi tells the the police that she covered his eyes yeah, she was like and that he lost control the of the car of a guess who yeah and, and, and so, he got thrown out of the car before it crashed right so yeah, that's i right. thought he never gets in i thought his father or her father was the driver no. No, 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 no. Father's no. not in the picture. For the whole book. He's, he's not they around. He's like they uh, mention him in the beginning support. of the book. Your father's not real. He's they yeah. mention him in the beginning of the book as like an abusive kind of uh, a, yeah. alcoholic kind of person. Yeah, because uh, that whole uh, scene where she's waking up in the hospital bed, and she can overhear um, she can overhear Malachi talking to the police and saying like. Ooh, I don't know. It, it seems cruel that a woman has to die for some game of a child or some yeah. shit like that. <laughs> so she has that guilt on yeah. her already. So she thinks like it's her fault. Because first of all, she hit the person in the first place. Yeah. And then, of course, yeah. So she, the I little like girl's how, like carrying this fucking guilt yeah. on her. I just like how no one cares. Like, they're like, yeah, okay, yeah that, that sounds all right. Like, that sounds like a like, 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 right. <laughs> letter that uh, her and pediatrician like, like put, puts out about the about the accident. And yeah. I only mentioned the other doesn't driver. And again, right. Uh, I would say this is a pretty big controversy. Uh, another, well, another. Uh, criticism of the book is like I don't think the, this, there was any car accident reported in uh, the newspaper of the area and uh, they're saying that they actually had a, quite a bit of habit of doing that at the time but there was no right. accident that, right, right, yeah. that uh, pa- Pazda, Paz- Pazder Pazder like yeah. he spends a lot of time trying to find old, any any kind of record at all of uh, this accident so that he can corroborate her story well, he finds like, her doctor so, eventually, her childhood doctor. Right, and even, yeah, and the funny thing is, uh, that guy was two floors above them in the same building. Mm. Um, but he he only remembers by word of mouth. Like, he later on tries to go and find documents, and he's like, nope, we don't have anything. And uh, Pazda goes, uh, you know, he checks, the, he checks the DMV, he checks cops, he goes through, like, old articles, uh, newspaper archives, and shit. But um, and yeah, it's at this time we're actually introduced to the nurse character. Well, All right. Um, I don't know if there's any. There's, there's some other stuff that goes on in the hospital. I don't know if you remember too much of it. I don't really remember the hospital scene too much, but I think there's things they're doing to her in there as well. I know she remembers obviously like the IVs, and I think they don't they have her like in an oxygen tent or something. I think so. Yeah. But I remember there being other weird stuff. I think they were trying to kill her actually, because don't they like smother her, or, like try to? They were, at some point, they're her. always trying to do something to her, either mm-hmm. like get rid of her, or at some point they just try to indoctrinate her in the ritual itself. And well, I mean, wouldn't hmm. that have just been the easiest thing awesome. to do right from the beginning? Well, it seems like Malachi doesn't uh, like her. Like Malachi yeah, yeah, is yeah. trying to kill her at every <laughs> fucking step. But okay. like, it's He's like, like I'm trying to get with her, your mom. Yeah, and you're ruining it. But it, <laughs> but everyone else, like, they want her for some ritual. Or yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. I got from it. Because like, I think Malachi actually does try to kill her in the hospital, like smother her, some shit to that. In effect, the in the effect. ritual, they have like a specific uh, oh. aim or like plan for her as far as like what they're trying to do. And no, no. I, I remember what it was. Um, because Dr. Pazder mentions that uh, he's the way she's described. Because remember, she's thinking, she's remembering all this as a child, so she doesn't really understand what's going on. But right. he infers from what she's telling her that, uh, telling him that um, he thinks that she, they were trying to introduce like an air bubble into the IV or cut the oxygen <laughs> off or some shit like that. They were trying to do something to fuck this girl up. And I don't, but I don't know. Somehow, for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't succeed. I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, heck, just a couple of drops of pure curare would have taken care of her. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, shit. She's got some vitality, man. Let me tell you. like, <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, no, they, they do awesome. She just goes into, like, bare hibernation mode. doesn't need, like, the oxygen. Like, we shut the oxygen. <laughs> just cuts down her meta- uh, metabolic rate. Like, oh. <laughs> Anyway, I mean, um, we're, intru- we're introduced to the, the nurse character at this point. I don't know, Ray, if you want to go from there. With no, that. Well, the nurse character is kind of like the person that takes like Michelle under her ring, her wings, yeah. so to speak. And, the um, leathery bat wings. Yeah. Oh, um, <clears throat> again, um, I the nurse, when I, the, up to the point where I read the nurse, uh, I didn't get too much into her, like, her character uh, necessarily because I know Michelle's mother kind of like almost handed her over. Right. to the nurse and um, the one thing that stood out to me was when um, the nurse was always trying to get her to like almost like denounce God yeah and so- the the one the one scene in the book that that really stood out to me is when 
it was the defecation. Mm, and her they were always trying to give her. They gave her like a, an enema like a few times. Yeah. For particular reasons, um, one of them was when uh, they gave her the an enema and she felt the need to go to the restroom. So they they carried her over to like a sheet that was laying on the floor. It was, a, it was a cloak. I think it was like yeah. her, the the nurse's cloak or yeah. something. It was like a pee and, pad. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they brought her over. They brought her over. Yeah. And as she's about to defecate, they remove the sheet and surprise. She, she shits. Straight up, she shits all over a Bible. Yeah. Fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> she shits all over a cross and the Bible. Yeah. They're um, like, ha ha! You're damned. You're damned. 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 Um, but Ray, before all that, yes. I believe uh, there's some scenes in the graveyard, isn't there? Before all that? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is where it starts to get like real fucking batty for me because oh shit, see, I don't know. Is is the, the scene with all the kittens and shit? Is that actually before? I think that? that's af. It could be the graveyard and the kittens. I think is before the defecation on the okay. Bible because that's like they were something like build so, up to that. This is where it starts like well, obviously, I, I know a little history of the book, so I was kind of like skeptical going in, obviously. But like when it starts to get like a little bit unbelievable, it's like first of all. They keep bringing in these white kittens. Like, where the fuck are you getting all these pure white kittens? And like, they're cutting the heads off of them and shit. Like, and doing, I guess, sacrifice, like smearing the blood on them with, with and all that. Um, well, I mean, they got twenty eight years to prepare, so I, I guess somewhere they've got like a kennel. <laughs> oh, like, I guess that's true. All albino yeah. cats or whatever. They're like, no, I guess those aren't for you. Those are for the devil. Stay away. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> they got like some uh, satanic pet shop. It's like, right? no, we don't sell. Yeah. We don't sell the white cats. No, nope. sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, sure. But uh, and then. Like black cats, yeah. you noob. Yeah. You need pure white cats. <laughs> Eat shit. Uh, another thing, well, like I said, maybe I guess I didn't even take that into account. Rolling uh, the twenty-eight years, but like again, uh, maybe the nurse can. Uh, maybe the nurse answers the question of it. But a lot of fetuses. Uh, where the fuck yeah. are they getting all these fetuses, Holy man? Like that's, they happen to get a lot like, of. Nobody asked any questions about that. So many. They, uh, where, uh, where was this relative I'm, to Roe versus Wade? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Probably. I don't know, man. Good, well, good they point. they lied uh, Michelle down on like a slab, and they brought out fetuses and cut them yeah. pretty much open and like let them bleed all over her. And they rubbed and the then they started rubbing the blood. On her, but yeah, yeah, they started rubbing yeah. the body parts on her on on themselves and stuff. And yeah. they uh, they put her in a grave at one spot at uh, one time. They put her in a grave, and it's like what? I don't know, man. It's just like, the grave they, scene. A picture I didn't of it understand at all. The, yeah, but like the they showed. Yeah, and. Sure. Yeah, because oh, uh, again, another criticism book. There's like a shit ton of neighborhoods around the fucking that cemetery. So like nobody saw like eighty, you know, or hundreds. The whole of, town is satanic. Yeah, There's, well, maybe every everyone in the neighborhood is Wasn't part there, of that. Yeah, like, I guess they so. All, that's, I mean, they just bought all the houses. Like, hey, so, here's the cemetery. That's why all the houses up. Like, so you say that as a joke, Ryan. But in the the first appendix, uh, one of the letters, the I don't know if it was like I guess if you guys didn't mention it or something, but there's a guy in there that says. The town Victoria has like a thousand witches. Oh, nice. And like, there's you like cut off right, we, we cut off right when you said the you know, town. Like journalists. We lost you at town. Yeah, we lost you at town. The town Victoria? Yeah. Is, uh-huh. is that's where it's set? Uh, yeah. Because, so like, the first appendix uh, is a letter from a, a guy who was, uh, who escaped apparently from, from, I don't know if it was their cult or like, you know, maybe the, the another, the next another. cult over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so but he mentions the den of Satan? <laughs> yeah, right. We're we're the the uh, the alpha beta chapter, and those guys are you know like the uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the apocalypsos or whatever the fuck uh, uh, bracket. I don't know. But so the guy the guy says though that like there's like a thousand of them in the town, and like they're they just look like anyone else by day. You know, they're journalists. They're well, ex- except judges that a lot of them have of a shit. fucking middle finger cut off. That's, right. that's part of the initiation yeah. to get in there. So you know, that's yeah. kind of yeah. weird. I would notice that, you know, yeah, a thousand people with, <laughs> I, I go to a town and I'm at the convenience store and I'm like, Hey, the cashier doesn't have a middle finger. Right. And then, you know, in the back of the store, like the, the drink, well, Area, someone else doesn't have a middle finger. Maybe uh, I'm just not going to buy anything, and I'm going to leave. Everybody's waving. Maybe uh, maybe they wear gloves (laughs) during the day. I don't know. Didn't a lot of people do that? The the fake, uh, like like a prosthetic. This isn't like the 1800s. But maybe they're all just trying to get like do the reverse shocker, man. You know, they 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 (laughs) there's like they they have like a tennis club. You know, the country club where people do that are like where they go horseback riding and shit. And people people, I'm sure they could think of a reason or some bullshit. Um. The doctor well, asked the doctor accidents. asked Michelle at one point even uh, that after she tells them uh, herself you know like oh yeah they they're chopping off their fingers as 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 a show of their loyalty 
uh, he asks her like, well, do do you remember any of these people of your like friends of your mother growing up? You know, were any of the missing fingers? And she's like, no. And it says in there that she doesn't mention it because she didn't know to look for it as a child. Like she didn't. It's not something she noticed. So I mean, no, no, no. See, I, I'm. Right I, I would here, just assume that it's... you've lost me as a kid. <laughs> I, I noticed people that were missing fingers. It was like a right, thing. Yeah, same, same here. I, like, I have an uncle. I've that... got ten. Um, well, David got... has eight. Here's the thing, though. He <laughs> yeah. said there's a thousand of them. That's what he says in the book. But uh, apparently, well, like, it's mm-hmm. it's supposed to be a pretty populated area, though. Uh, uh, Victoria. Supposed to be a pretty well populated area, so I mean, even if there's a thousand of them in there, I mean, it's it considered it's considered an urban area, so like you know, it's got to be quite a big population. Well, anyways, uh, so going back to the rituals uh, in the graveyard, they put her in a grave, and they're like, what are they throwing stuff in there? Like uh, they throw like they throw rats like or snakes and, and stuff throw, in there too. Like like carcasses and stuff. There's there. like snakes in there too. There's, snakes is another big thing that happens. <laughs> did they throw more fetuses yeah. in there? With I think they did. They yeah, did, yeah. yeah. probably and, uh, you know, just and sprinkle them I, on. Seasoning. And is that all? Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle them, it's baby, old, <laughs> baby fingers. <laughs> it's a big old Satanist cake. No, they are. Um, they're, they're leftover fingers. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Satanist what are you, cake. What are you doing with those? What, what, are you, what are you Satan dip? What the fuck are you doing with those fingers? That's a lot of fingers to like. You yeah. gotta do something with that. Um, make some necklaces or make something. A stew or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> start an Etsy shop with like. Right. right. Bone finger. There, of course. Um, and then I think this is the the setting where they have the ritual where she's birthed to. Uh, I don't know if that comes after the nurse, right? Yeah, the yeah. nurse. It's yeah. like a weird ritual where she like she puts her upside down, like in almost like a yeah. standing sixty nine position, and yeah. she like she um, basically passes her through her legs. I guess <laughs> is symbol like symbolically saying she's being born to her now that that's her mother. The Was nurse. that after and, she had this like the the surgery uh, alterations or whatever or before the surgical alterations? That I, because that if, if it's before, then I think they actually had several instances where they tried to like rebirth her. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, and it's at this point the mom. Well, the mom, the, the new births weren't taken. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they had to keep on doing it. Is that like a, uh, a ritualistic <laughs> a miscarriage or something? Or I don't right. know. But um, uh, they, uh, yeah, and then the mom, of course, keeps telling her like, "Well, you're not mine anymore. Like, you're not." Mine okay, anymore. so I think that was before because I didn't. I read another event in my section of the book, and it was after, and it didn't actually mention the nurse or the mother much. Like, by that point, okay. Malachi and the nurse are just like, oh, yeah, they're evil, and they're always there. You know, but, like, <laughs> other things are... Like, she's focusing on other things, but, yeah. Well, the, uh, the so. nurse is... Yeah, like, and like Ray said, the nurse is the one trying to get her to denounce Christianity, and she's trying to teach her... I guess teach her, like, the black arts or whatever, because right, she had her reading from books and stuff like that. And after she defecates on the Bible and the cross, she gets them and cleans them off. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly how she does it. I think she like wipes it on her body or something. I don't know. Cleans it off. She doesn't really have much. I don't think they even have clothes in her. Actually, I think uh, there was a uh, part of the book where she said she went into the cabinet and got a can of pledge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. And a clean and a clean a uh, bath towel. Well, somehow she cleaned <laughs> them off. Kidding. I don't know, man. But then she puts them underneath her bed mat- or yeah. mattress because uh, she thinks that or she mentions that for some. She's like, I don't know what these are, but like, I guess because apparently her mom didn't take her to church. Like, obviously she's Satanist, but like her, her mom never said anything to her about religion. So she doesn't know what the cross is or Bible is. She's just saying Wait, like. But she won't denounce Christianity. Well, but that's the thing. She, how can you she, denounce? She doesn't how can know you, what it means. But that's, though, like, that's what's kind of well, weird, it's right? It's real easy to denounce what you don't know and understand. Yeah. I mean. Go denounce well, something. No, but that sounds aggressive. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. That's well, actually, I think, how can you denounce? How can you even denounce what the fuck you don't know what it is? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Do you renounce Jesus? Who? Ah, you're yeah. already there. Yeah. Got it. You see the guy that sells burgers at, at McDonald's? <laughs> so the way oh, yeah, it's, it's explained that she doesn't, I guess, succumb necessarily to, to what they're trying to get her to do is that apparently she's got like an inherent sense of good within her that she's oh, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. these guys are <laughs> yeah. like trying to tell me to do these horrible things and she well, just doesn't like want to do child, it. Yeah, the innocence know? of a child. Who, right. who taught her this morality? I don't know. I, I, just, don't get me wrong. Right? I, I know like, that if, people if going generally into, have morality. It, so, but a lot of it is learned. Well, if we're going into right. genetics, then her mom's the same. Yeah. One. Well, like <laughs> she, right. she, she doesn't have that inherited sense of morality. So where's she getting this from? The alcoholic <laughs> father. It's, it's yeah, kind of weird because she has like an idealized picture or a uh, view of her mother uh, yeah. in, that she explains the later in the book. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Satanist what? alcoholic uh, 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 who abandons her. And, uh, um, well, she. Yeah, 
she still she, idolizes her and like thinks that you know everything she does is great and like she, she exactly yeah well. she's in denial about her mom how right, old exactly. was she at this time five she was five, five. so and she doesn't realize, she doesn't realize, she doesn't, she doesn't realize all of these things until later in life like after the Shouldn't after her she mother have been away. in kindergarten uh, yeah, that's another thing yeah. too. She was there. There's another thing like nobody right. mentioned. She didn't the fact start. That she was gone for 81 late. days out of school. Yeah, she. No, this, was, actually, this was the after school program that she was. Well, in. Well, of course, this was <laughs> in the 70s, so maybe it's a more, maybe they were more lax about it back then. It was, like, hey, uh, was exactly when she was supposed to start school. <laughs> yeah, then they. I'm sure she's fine. Somewhere. She was in private school. Yeah. Speak yeah. Yeah. <laughs> private school, the Satanist yeah. school. There you go. I can imagine if they're like they're taking attendance in school, they're just like Michelle Smith. Here. Just because like, just they, like she was enrolled off. in the school, right? Yeah, she, she was. Yeah. So here's the thing. Okay, if this is all fabrication, why didn't she just say that she was homeschooled or like at the get go? Like, why does she even was she or like why doesn't she? She's try to not s- very good at making stuff up. That's apparent. Well, we're not saying it's fabrication, though, but if it is, <laughs> I'm, oh, which I, I tend to believe, but uh, obviously, but um, I um, haven't read it, but I'm just going with what I'm hearing. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it was. Yeah, I, I, th- uh, I thought it was explained that she was supposed to have started school, but because they did this, you know, she started out late and was like behind all the other students and had to. Is this an extended okay. summer camp? Yeah, for her. there you go, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who doesn't want to shit on a Bible? No. <laughs> Well, <laughs> anyways, I guess going back to the main story here. So she she hides the she doesn't know what it is, but she knows that it's like it's bad to them. So they're like, oh, it's right. can protect me. So she kind of hoards it away under the mattress and what goes on after that, right? Right. Um, honestly, I think that's the part where I kind of fell off on the book. I, it's um, only mentioned I don't one more too time. Much. It's only mentioned one more time in the book uh, after you mentioned it there, and she doesn't even she doesn't call it a Bible. She doesn't know what it is. Uh, yeah, like right, you right. said. I think she just calls it the white book that they seem to hate. And she, at one point, like, runs for it uh, for safety. And she, like... Uh, a white book. And, you know, they get all pissed off to hell when they realize what it is. And they so they take it away from her. Or, well, what she does is she tears the pages off and she sticks them to herself. Because at this point, she's, at that particular point, covered in, like, a foul and, and feces and blood. Yeah. And then she, like, throws... Uh, she throw she like tears the most of the pages off, sticks them to herself, and then throws the rest. Like I don't know if it was in Malachi's face or the or the, or the other cultist culty folks. Like she just throws them all in their face, and they they pick up the pages and oh, and she eats some of them too. But she pick, they pick them up and they <laughs> they, uh, she, they burn she them. She defiles that, a yeah. Bible. They well, should like, be rejoicing at yeah, this. Right. This like, thing this was like, like her, her mindset at the time was that she was filthy and want and was like felt disgusting, and she wanted this to like make herself feel clean and right. good, and uh, and but that's that was the only thing she could if, do because she was she was panicking. If I'm, like, if I'm a Satanist, yeah, and someone's ripping up the Bible, I might be kind of like start. Praising that person for the good job they're doing, yeah, man. Or, 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 to my side, it's all about conditioning. They, they, they're they're they like didn't. giving her the wrong message. It should be like, yeah, good job, <laughs> yeah, like, you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, I don't, um, Roland. I don't know if you were at this part. Uh, so mm-hmm. is this when they start bringing her into the round room and like she's living? Yeah. She's basically so, living in the round room, right? So like it starts off with me, oh, my end, where she's she's in a cage, uh, yeah. and uh, it's in the round room, and they're they. They, she stay. I don't. I forget for how long she stays in that cage, but um, she like. Uh, they don't let her sleep. Like every time she uh, is trying trying to get uh, you know any any kind of sleep, they'll, like, they'll poke at her or they'll pinch her and stuff. And they they keep her awake. Just yeah, to, and so at this point, like you know, she's do like uh, uh, she's they're trying probably to having like a, her like. Yeah, like yeah. mentally and physically. I mean, yeah, she, they're trying to she, indoctrinate her into the coals, I guess, so to speak. Um, they're and they're it, preparing they're preparing her for like uh, to, to break her, you know, psychologically, and that's when they introduce yeah. the lady from Vancouver. Um, oh yeah, the the possessed woman. Right. Why well, did you say it? Isn't that later in the book? Because no, no, uh, there's the there's the book. I mean, there's the uh, the statue. There's a statue that right. no, uh, that's oh, yeah, the white that's the white statue. statue. And that's and they, she right doesn't know who it is, and no one right says who it is. She calls it Malachi at, yeah. at some point, right? Oh, does she? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think she, so yeah. in in my my end of the book, um, the lady from Vancouver shows up, and that's when she realizes she's possessed, and then they that's when they put her into the statue, but they call it an effigy. And she calls it the white, the white uh, thing. I think is what she yeah. calls it. 
Um, oh, because see, uh, well, see, Roland, actually, Roland, earlier on, uh, she talks about how she she could get in because, like, when they kind of, I guess they let her out of the cage and she can kind of wander around the room. Right. Well, there's a, there's a part where she finds a trap door and she actually goes into the she she goes into the statue because she's like, oh, mm-hmm. and she's kind of saying like, oh, well, this is how Malachi uh, makes believers. Like, he gets in the statue and he moves it. Oh, okay. Because like he's like he's like he because he mentioned she mentions that oh well, Malachi and Mom believe in and the nurse believe in Satan, but he has to get other people to really believe in Satan. So like he has them come to these parties, and I guess they're thinking oh I'm gonna get laid or whatever. But like yeah. then he gets in the stat <laughs> he sneaks into the statue and makes it start moving. So they're all like oh shit like it's it's all real. Yeah. <laughs> And um, uh, that's what she mentions I that. That's funny. It's like she's she's he's making the statue move, but how is he making like a like a statue? Well, I, right? It's like what the I fuck? Don't know. I, I, it's like, I just I, I my, in my mind I just see it like when, like <laughs> wobbling back and forth. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I mean, when they put her in there, like it backfires at one point because originally they like they just pour like a bunch of just like snakes in there. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of snakes in there and like a bunch of like <laughs> and, and, and and shit snakes and, and spiders, just... snakes and spiders and stuff. And oh, that's right. I'm I, I sorry. Forgot. This just sounds too cliche, uh, made up well, bullshit. Oh man, yeah. Uh, they leave yeah, her in the statue for a long that. time. Oh god, this isn't even the, oh, the gets, most no, cliche. Oh, like made it, up. It gets, no, it wasn't it even. Crazy after it this. wasn't even the first part of the snakes because no. she had them in the cage as well. Like before she was yeah. in the statue, that was another thing that made it so that she couldn't sleep. Do you know how hard she starts to keep snakes yeah. in a cage? And uh, <laughs> yeah, she talks about they, they bite her and the snakes bite or the There's spiders a reason bite her. They put them in aquariums. Right. Yeah, yeah. So they. Well, at one point, uh, at one point, I don't know, I don't know why she, I can't remember why she does it, but she starts pushing snakes in the mouth right. of the Right. So fucking what statue. happens is that like, like they're she's trying to the, get the ritualists so. are dancing around around the yeah. statue. And, so she uh, starts feeding the statue snakes. No, she's pushing them no, out. She's like, in the statue. She's oh, pushing she's making the statue she's having a, vomit she's snakes. Having a, Got she's it. She's having a panic but, attack. But if because... I was there and I saw the fucking snakes coming out of the mouth, I'd be like, holy shit, that's all real. <laughs> it's so, real, guys. It, it had like the it's opposite happening. effect of what like, she intended. What she was yeah, trying exactly. to do. What she was trying to do is that so the ritualists they were dancing around and they lift up their their robes and their children like clinging to them and they let the children go and those kids start like dancing and and like they're enjoying themselves they're like oh this is fun we love it and she is like growling and making noises and stuff to try to like scare them to be like no Just you guys should be terrified like why it's real for the kids guys and it. so instead like they're like oh wow it's real like oh man and then she's like she's getting more and more just like frustrated and and i guess terrified and so what she does is she basically snaps and starts like taking all the snakes and just stuffing them out out of the out of the eyes to like try to scare them you know and that's when they're just like oh wow wow it's kind of like you know it's it's so real and then she actually busts out of the statue and that's when they start getting scared because they're like yeah. they see her and she's like starved she's like covered in, in in feces. Oh, yeah, because they didn't oh, start there's worshiping a, there's her, a, there's though. A, there's a hell of a right. visual. That was what, yeah. what it started what you're saying right now. And it's then like she the, comes they, out. They the scene from Ace Ventura, sh- uh, number no, no, two, no, like, where he's yeah. fucking right yeah, yeah, yeah. pops out as the butt. Soo- <laughs> as soon as she explodes out of the statue, the kids should have started worshiping her as the pure, like, the, the human so, incarnate form of whatever yeah, they were worshiping in that statue. Oh, that's right. There's kids, right? There's other kids there. But that wasn't sort of the... Goal. I mean, yes, her goals run complete and totally. They, they like, sort of, it sort of seemed of like they else. had, they had, I'm not sure, like it seemed like they had two different goals because the main goal of having that I understood of having her in the ritual was that they were trying to rob, make her believe that she was never loved. Like she had yeah. no, like she was, she was never loved. And so she should have no love to like basically this, convert her to make her, any, you this, know, but she constantly ruins look, the rituals. Here, here's uh, the thing though. This, this no love concept, this is something I actually wanted to bring up earlier. Cause I was thinking about it. It kind of sounds like she got jealous of this Malachi guy. Cause he was getting attention from her mom. I'm sure. <laughs> and she just made up all this other stuff. As a way to be like that, Malachi guy is an asshole. Well, then I so guess. Do you, you think oh, that maybe I mean, at some point during these rituals, when she was younger and she started getting jealous, right. that maybe no, she, I'm not even she, saying she, that the rituals may, happened. No, no, I'm, no, I'm saying, saying that, that maybe, Malachi might have been real. Well, and no, I'm her saying like mom. maybe, maybe the mom and well, Malachi. She maybe she caught them fucking or something. Right, and this and is then, how she rationalized yeah. it. Satan. Well, yeah, and um, <laughs> Satan, but she didn't know about Satan. Yeah, because she 
had no yeah, moral no, indoctrination. Well, but I she mean, had no like, uh, religious like, yeah, brain background brain. or religion. She had to be been really good at it in that she, I guess, fooled what's his face. Pause, pause the, pause, pause the. No, uh, I think he's complicit. <laughs> I think he was he's complicit. He mentioned in his whole calling deal. him pause then. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Because he mentions though that he's just, like he believes. Her. I just think of like a fucking noodle or no, something. I, here's really the deal. I think I think he legitimately saw a chance to make some money. Well, oh, I, that's yeah. what I was trying to mention earlier. That he's like he's like no, you got to keep going. Uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna this is you, be he good is for you. Like, all don't these stop. Things. I mean, this could be like the like one of the biggest. Um, Wait, up. he was recording this? He was, re- yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah. tape recorder all this. The are the are these or... audio recordings? Yeah, Has and then anyone later he gets else video. heard them? I have not heard them, no. Has anyone seen them? No. I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know, like, I don't know if you can get a hold of them or not because, I mean, it, I mean, it, I mean, considering that it, it's been written in a book, is that, uh, go against, like, patient, doctor, confidential, confidential? Well, if, 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 if the patient is complicit in it, she's okay with it. You can sign the releases. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, so she kind of she kind of did he, that already with the book. She was though, also right? okay with right. the, the videotaping her. So I mean, those and taking all these pictures of her and yeah. Dr. Pazler like so close. And yeah. So, so is there any vid- is there any clips of the know, video? I don't know. If, well, I mean, I I looked in on YouTube and I typed in so many things to try and find anything I to do it. with I'd it. I imagine it's and like I cannot find a, anything. It's in a church and, archive somewhere, and they're. A church uh, archive, yeah, yeah probably. Sure, man. You know, uh, like, the, the, they the mentioned that they, the they, 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 they mailed it to the Vatican and put yeah. it in the vault. Got it? Yeah, right. <laughs> and they, they do uh, mention with the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, what happens after all that. Um, is this is this the, about the part where she goes to Father Leo, or is this where she, is this where no, the this possessed is after, woman this comes? Is f- where she starts to meet with Father Guy. Father Leo at that point uh, like goes off on a on a tour or something like that, and so he basically exits exits the story, and they introduce an, uh, another uh, pastor, uh, Father Guy. Oh my God, man! You know, right? There's so Father much stuff. Guy. There's, yeah, Father. Is it Guy or Guy? No. <laughs> there's so much now, stuff, is, man. Is, is she talking into, to these priests as an adult? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's going to meet him with yeah, as an adult because, because like uh, she she's worried about be, the uh, because the Doctor Pazder is he's Catholic and he's like so she's seeing worried stuff. About her he's, soul. Like, he's like, oh right. yeah, yeah. yeah actually, so exactly. That's she's what she also says. at one point she goes and she gets baptized because she's also um you know doesn't have. Well, that I mean that either. that clears it all up in the Catholic <laughs> yeah. tradition, you know, especially not given the opportunity. She didn't go to confirmation her mom, though. Well, hold on. <laughs> that's that's irrelevant but all right, everything but... before baptism okay she's cool for all right well <laughs> it's um, it's been uh, covered i don't know you know what Roland one baptism doesn't even get into the part where uh, according they to the find Catholic the church they find like the symbol like the satanic symbol on a bench in the, right yeah and they right. had to burn the bench <clears throat> yeah or something so... i think it's a bench could yeah. you just paint it <laughs> I don't no, know, man. It, it, so the, Sand it down. I think like the day before, a few day, like two days before she was scheduled to get her receiver baptism, they go into the church, and uh, they notice that one of the <clears throat> the shan- is, is, is like a light. Like I, I forgot what specific kind of lantern or light it was, but it's low. Oh yeah, it's some low, kind of like, yeah, it's some kind of religious. They're like that's like, weird, candle. you know. And then they look over, <clears throat> and they see this small bench in the corner, and yeah. they. Would, sh- sh- the doctor doesn't think anything of it at first, and then uh, Michelle looks at it and she's like, "Wait a minute! Like I rep- recognize the symbols that are on there. Like that's from my." <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, but I just like visions. how the the priest is like, "Yeah, yeah." He's like, "I don't remember that being there." Like no, he's yeah, like, he, it's like he, nothing. He's, he's like, weirded oh, yeah. out by it. Like they call him over. They call over yeah. the uh, the bishop. Was it the bishop or Father Guy? I, f- I forget which. I think it was the bishop. Uh, and he's he at first is confused. Because he's like, what do you guys want? And he sees the bench. He's like, whoa, I recognize <laughs> that. Like, want? no, like, what is that you doing here? And they're like, Who it is a weird, this? Yeah. it's a weird coincidence because they mentioned that it is also the, um, Dr. Paz, are you up to your shit again, man? They, <laughs> they <laughs> quit bringing your sickness yeah. in here. They mention it is like, it, it coincides with the day of, uh, some particular saint. And they're like, oh no, like, this is good that we're going to be burning this because like this, this particular saint, like he's the. Like the patron saint of like purity or the burning know, benches, bonnet, yeah, bonfires. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like they, um, they, they take it apart. And they, you know, they set it on fire. But before then, or during that time, uh, the, uh, the doctor well, like, they, has a camera and he's taking he pictures. Had, 
Right. Well, here's this is this is what's funny too. He must so, carry that camera everywhere. No, he doesn't. No, he, he, he packs no, to go he, home and get it. Yes, and it's funny. Oh. He okay, so they're about to start the fire, and the doctor passes like, "No, wait, wait, I got to document this shit. Like, hold on." And they're like, and then they're like, "Oh," and Michelle mentions like, "Well, they weren't happy about it because they know." And this has been mentioned before in the book too that he's yeah. not very punctual. Like no. he's always late to his fucking he's appointments, like, I'll be back even in a with minute. his clients. Yeah, it's like twenty minutes later, and they're yeah, like, and they're like and they, it says they, they both they both exchange an exasperated look at each other, like this fucking he's fucking coming up with two cameras yeah and like all this shit so he's taking yeah. pictures on it so oh, he takes man. pictures though and ends up finding like what looks to be a, a figure in the background that's like sort of walking around following them I like it's like it, a man. like a wispy oh there, there are pictures of it in the, in the book, it, i know but the but the pictures no, i know in the book, they don't i don't really show it. too he's, much he's of anything claiming no, the Virgin don't. Mary like and, a, and yeah exactly he's carrying baby jesus and like so, i don't see it man yeah the uh, later, the, later on the, the satan uh, in like a uh, the, the piece of bread yeah. Yeah. The like so <laughs> they like they're there are sort of like two things in there or a few things in there they mentioned about it so like you know the doctor looks at these pictures and he sees that and he's like what the fuck and he goes and shows it to the to the priest, and he's like, "Okay, okay." And then the priest's mother, who's also there at the time because they they live together, sees it. And she's like, "Oh, that's right." You know, she's like, "Oh, that's yep, that's Mother Mary." You know, like real, like out of mer- matter of fact. <laughs> and this fucking doctor, um, I was like, "I'm sorry, who, who the hell are you?" Later, later on, later yeah, on, I know. Uh, the I know. doctor tries to get Randy's them to re- seen re- again. <laughs> uh, they try to recreate the, uh, the the same thing. Like they they find another bench later on. They ritually burn it. <laughs> And uh, he takes pictures, and he sees like there's nothing there, kind of thing. So, I just thought that well, was well. Maybe they should have put this some Satanist symbols on the bench. And the bench and the priest has been burning benches um, since then. All like, <laughs> oh, shit. See if I can. So I I want to get into like the very like climax of this, and that is when certain characters, some new characters, make an appearance in Michelle's uh, regression therapy. And I believe it's Satan comes uh, on. Oh yeah, and Satan. it's Jesus shows up. Oh yep. yeah, and Mother Mary comes Mary. And, he, he and Michael. Oh, Archangel yeah. Michael, that's right. Yeah. Yes, the that's whole right. crew shows up. The whole crew, it's right. But just crew. Satan, like Satan didn't bring any like other minions. Yeah, he's, he's got. Some? But he has. He's he's like he's got a starring role in like the latter he's, part. He's of the book. OG. Like, he's, Okay. He's, I think he has like a little. Isn't he have like some imps or some shit around there? Or something? Uh, like, I actually, think there's a no, few things. Okay. In he, actually, so, he actually had a hype man. Yeah, that <laughs> was uh, it's that your boy. Was, yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten that, but like when when the doctor was taking pictures of them burning the bench, there were supposedly some shadowy figures or whatever also following mm. following around in the bottom of one of the pictures. But other than that, I don't think so. Well, as far as, uh, I'm interested in the Satan a fun, archangel. When, he, when, he, when Satan comes to Michelle to talk about whatever, he's like, "Remember that that bench photo? I I made myself multiple people. That's right. I think there were multiple shadows in there. That was all me." Yeah. Man, I, I, oh, you have the book right? Because we, I don't no, know. It, uh, Roland has the book right now. Ah, okay. Well, that's good. Because uh, so. I no, I just <laughs> want you to read. I always want you to read some of the rhymes because he starts oh, yeah, like sure. he, he starts busting out some of the illest <clears throat> flows, man. You know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nah, I mean, nah, I know, I, I, I know. So, and actually, he, does, doesn't the priest make some mention of that too later? It's yeah, like, he calls it the banality of evil. It's like it's it. He like, mentions Satan uh, always speaks in simplistic rhymes, but it's like it has deeper meanings or some shit. Right, <laughs> like, because uh, the the doctor excuses is for listening him. to him. He's like, yeah. he's like these, these sound like stupid uh, like nursery <laughs> rhymes. Like what? Yeah. Now, like if that. we play them backwards, do they have other meanings? Yeah, they worship Jesus. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's the reverse of back masking. Yeah, so he, front masking. He sees. No, no, no. What we'll do is we'll have Roland read one. Then after this is all edited and recorded, we'll just listen to it backwards ourselves. <laughs> well, praise Jesus. Uh Actually, I think she sees uh, Jesus before, like even Satan comes out, right? Like, um, when she's getting tortured or something, like, earlier. You got us a good Satan run? Sure. First, she sees, uh, yeah, she sees Jesus first, and then the m- m- uh, Mary. She, she calls her, like, Mama Mary. Or something. It's, it's, it's yeah. all French. Because, oh, by the way, Virgin Mary's French, guys. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Oh, really? Well, she speaks, that's all she speaks in a while. I thought she was, uh, Mexican. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just I saying that because for some reason she speaks. <laughs> for some reason she speaks to Michelle in French a lot, She's or Haitian. like, or she calls her Mamera, which I think is French for mother. I don't know, yeah. but um, 
it's yeah. it's Are really you interesting. Sure she was seeing the Virgin Mary and not Joan of Arc. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Right. So let's just go She's like, like she had a sword. It was weird. <laughs> Really she cool. was on fire too. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> she always showed up at the bench burnings. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. What the hell, dude? Oh, dude, damn what it. the fuck was that? Hold on. Okay, we're back. We're back. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Man, all our heads are going to start exploding. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Satan uh, doesn't guys, want us. That, uh, uh, that was a Satan right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Dude. We've, we've crossed the you line. Know you know what's the weirdest, weirdest thing is that, like, after everything we've done, we did it, an earnest episode, uh, doing this exact same setup, mind you. I was at my house and everyone else was remoting in. No problems whatsoever. I mean, well, no we, audio issues whatsoever. But well, now, everyone knows Ernest is the force of all good. You understand that, right? So it's like, of course. <laughs> I summon Ernest to cleanse this room <laughs> of Ernest Satan. World. You know what I mean? Yeah, Roland, so, uh, Roland, can you hear us? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, all right. I don't know what happens after all the statue and then in between then and the bench burning. But then, of course, well, Satan shows up. And oh, then I don't know yeah. if you want to talk about that, Roland. So, yeah, he he starts. He Basically, he won't shut up. And they even mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> they, Pretty much. They, the, the, so he's a wordy. Michael uh, is was one of the voices that, that comes down to offer her protection. And the interesting like thing enough is that. Uh, each one that visits uh, her as as she's sitting through the ritual, um, Satan sees them and he gets pissed. Like every time they're like, "Hey, get the fuck out of here!" Like, how dare you interrupt my black interrupt mass? The, you know? Yeah, the like, black the black feast or something. The, uh, Satan's feast of the beast. Or something like feast of the feast beast. Of the beast. <laughs> yeah, I was that's like, right. "Oh, that sounds like wow. an Iron Maiden song." <laughs> he rhymes on the level of me. So. <laughs> He mentioned. Oh, I forgot the about that. I forgot about that shit. The feast of the beast. That's like yeah. followed by the yeah. rave in the grave. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had some green eggs and ham with that shit too. So like some Doctor Seuss style like rhymes, man. They are really, really, really childish. But like you said before, he mentions there that like no, that's just meant to trick you. It's meant to sound foolish. But like they have double and triple meanings, and they're only meant for like his worshippers to understand. Like to everyone else, exactly. they want you to ignore it and to like not give a shit because. Again, Damn, dude, like the banality like of a, evil or whatever. Yeah, the banality. It sounds like a fucking teenager like explaining his yeah. like bad poetry. But it's got like triple meaning in there. You just gotta like, <laughs> yeah, really you just don't understand, it, right? Mom. You're not, yeah, you're not reading Sips it right. You don't have enough experiences to know um, <laughs> about the feast of the beast. Uh, <laughs> they talk about the well, how the well, I guess the the feast of the beast or the the big black mass or whatever. It's like. The way it's supposed to go out. They talk about how, yeah, I guess, which I didn't, re I don't know, I'm not Catholic, but they, uh, the way they describe it is like, I guess the way a um, sermon or like the church service goes or a mass right. goes, it like goes in the shape of a cross. Um, well, the black so, mass is supposed to go in the shape of like a goat's like head or goat skull or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think it was a, a horned, a horned pig. A horned pig, yeah. yeah. Not even goat, man. It's, like, it's going no, down. Oh, yeah. Pig it's now. Fucking, <laughs> Come on, man. Now, now, the dirtiest. Yeah, what's the, dirtiest what's the, of all the phrase us. about the the banality of, of Satan? The banality of evil. The banality of evil was a writer. Now right you're about. saying uh, banal? Banality. Or banality. banality. Sure even, yeah. So lacking in originality to be obvious and boring. Correct. Yes. As opposed to yeah. being complex and double, triple meaning. There's right. There is literally, they're the ones that are making bad use of that word on its own but like it's it's well, no that's to, all it's that's all point of it is into, like, into, into, yeah into that's what he's trying to say no, is no, like that evil is very simplistic but it's uh it's but, meant to be that way to like but then how if it's being simplistic how is it having double and triple meanings i know it, it's, because it's it's meant to fool you dude like it's it's like an inside joke like if you're not a part of the you know if you're not in on it like you wouldn't you wouldn't get it kind of thing but then it's not banal Right. It's like when someone it's like right. when someone farts and you find it funny, man. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. it's it's but simplistic, I mean, yeah. but it has so many. Yeah, you had to be there. Th they are <laughs> misusing the word banal. Well, I, I think they're using it in the sense where, like, um, right? Well, um, like, so you, he can, mentioned, uh, you as the the nor normal person on on the Satan a sa Satanized that you can't um, me, I understand don't know. all that stuff. Feast let of me, the uh, Beast seems pretty. Go Straightforward to, to me. Pretty metal, the way, the way like, they explain uh, it is that the 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 coined a phrase in another context, the banality of evil. Uh, he thinks that it, it has a profound application here. Banality, triteness. Uh, these are superficial attributes of evil. The principal disguise. Uh, they expect it to be big and flashy and glamorous, but it is small and meaning unoriginal. Uh, nonetheless, highly dangerous. 
uh, all the more dangerous for its apparent triviality, its unnoteworthiness. Uh, like, well, the, well, like, yeah. Is this the argument they gave? Banality of, the, uh, of Evil is actually a book. It's a, I think it's yeah. a philosophical book by yeah, a guy named is. Adolf Eichmann. Well, it says here, Hannah, Hannah Arendt. Huh? I'm not sure. Yeah. I was going to say, is this the argument that they I've gave that during the before. Ozzy Osbourne oh, I'm sorry. Uh, suicide uh, mission? It's, <laughs> it's on the war crimes. I'm sorry. The war crimes of Adolf Eichmann. But ah, yeah, you're right. Go. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> was like, uh, Hannah, yeah, I was Hannah thought Arndt. he was a Nazi. <laughs> so well, the, the, the father says specifically it's a great mistake to underrate these rhymes. The very mistake Satan yeah. uh, as far as like, again, you know. No, yeah, I, no, I you mean, sound I, like a, you sound like you're making like a little kid who's drinking, you know, his latte. No, I mean, and... I I understand that, but then you can't be simplistic and straightforward and have a double meaning. I'm just right. I'm looking at it more from a use of the term banal, sure, in the context that it is being presented to me, correct, which may or may not right. accurately but... represent the book. <laughs> so he. Explains specifically in, uh, in the to phrase to coin that phrase in another context. So I think that sort of sets it up as like, okay, this isn't it, it isn't exactly what you would expect of that particular definition, but this is this is the example we're going to use to to explain you know that the opposite is true. This oh, okay. Um, but so yeah. like some of the some of the fucking rhymes are really dumb, or some of them are just like okay, <laughs> like it's I mean I mean some by by some I mean all. Uh, at one point, uh, like it says here... Now, did Satan speak English? Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Virgin Mary speaks French. American Satan speaks English. English. That's right. American English. Yeah. Mark on. So we could, we could look up the meanings Canadian of Canadian English, sorry. Yeah. We could look up the, the does he, does he, meanings Does he say A at every rhyme after? No. <laughs> what we should he's, do is These phrases Satan's read like rhyme. really crappy metal songs. All of his crappy metal song titles and rhymes. Yeah. And we should really go through them and explore how many different meanings we can get at them by changing the words into not rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see well, what Satan really there meant. There is a go. lot, dude. <laughs> like they, like it said before. I got the, time. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, the uh, you know, the, I'll find good, some the, the good spirits make fun of him for it. They're like, he doesn't usually talk this much. Like this is good. Like you'll be fine. Like don't worry. But you need to pay attention to everything. And because they're, they're apparently. They're trying the good to, spirits want Satan to talk more? Well, so like well, the way it seems is that they set up the little girl to suffer and like watch all of this ritual so this, that she can divulge this at a later point. This reminded me so She's much spy. of the right. exorcism of Emily Rose. Have you yeah. ever seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that movie. It's the yeah. same premise in a way fun. because like she's got to like the Virgin Mary visits her, tells her she got to go through all the suffering or she can end it now and like she won't but if she does, if she goes through with it, she'll be like a saint or like she'll be teaching the world that there's really Satan and all that. Right, right, this is right. the same thing that's going on with Michelle Remembers. Right. Of course, I think the Exodus of Rose happened after Michelle Remembers. Yeah, yeah, it did. But yeah. Michelle Remembers actually borrows a lot of stuff from other things because, uh, well, going back, when we're talking about the possessed woman, mm -hmm. this, the stuff that she does is just like what happens in The Exorcist. And yeah, she does the crazy crab walks. She turns she, like, her head around all over the Michelle. Yeah, yeah and she, her head twists around and stuff. It sounds just like The Exorcist. And that her, movie came out before. Before yeah, this um, recounting, like, at least like six, seven years before. Yeah. So. Mm. But and, not, I mean, did but you, not did before. You, but not before what what actually what happened. That's right, right, man. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the Exorcist uh, got also, this from Michelle, right? I mean, again, like we talked before, it was talking about before. Zuzu was involved yes. in both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the old man and like Rosemary's so, baby too. What the? Well, that's what they're saying. The at group the end, of people yeah. in the house. You yeah. know? So what they mentioned that was kind of interesting about like her the whole episode about her remembering this, and I, I didn't get before how it started. Like how you mentioned she had a miscarriage and was very depressed, and then like they slowly peeled it away into like explaining like, oh wow, yeah. this is all of this stuff. You cut off. You kind of cut off, man. You, you said but, slowly peeled. <laughs> like an onion fully yeah. peeled yeah um so like they find out a coincidence later on that um let me see page four that like even though uh this, this ritual happens every 28 years and so it was supposed to be another five years that you know it was until they're going to do it again as she's remembering things though the, it directly coincides with uh so i think it was exactly 22 years later uh, to every um, instance that it happened then. So, like, hold on. Let me pull it up, find the page. So, like, here we go. When she remembers certain things, like in 1950, 1954, it was 54 and 55, I think. Or no, excuse me, 55. Uh, 
it was like Ash Wednesday on Easter, you know, uh, the Ascension, the Pentecost, uh, those sorts of things. Like she's remembering them like on the exact same day, 20 years later. So in 1955, uh, were, were these movable holidays on the same dates? Um, in 1980, yes. whatever. Yes, yes, they were movable holidays, but they were on the same dates that they pulled from a calendar, and they checked after the, after the fact to see if there were any other years that fell on these dates, and they didn't because they moved. Oh, that that's right. They um they get Dr. Pazder's mom's uh, missile or what is it? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Let me. I've got one of those little Catholic books with yeah. all the movable holiday they dates. Get, for yeah, they get her. They get wait, her I've got one from the 1950s. It might we might be able to do this all by ourselves. I mean, nice. we could do the huh. internet too, but it's more fun yeah. with the old text. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, so they they have four four columns uh here of uh of those those events it's uh and they they coincide well 1954 coincides with 76 and 1955 coincides with 77 uh because she originally started remembering things in 76 through 77 and as she's you know i guess re reliving these experiences like it it passes well, yeah, through exactly she, the same time that she, she starts she, getting a rash because apparently right. when Satan appears he wraps her he wraps his tail around her neck right and the yeah, rash it's, she looks it's like in the, the shape tail of the, the devil it's got like a triangle is, yeah like a, the spade tail um yeah yeah that's another thing that they mentioned uh the devil like throughout the whole time like he's dragging her around uh with his tail like he's wrapped it around her and he's just like pulling her around or making her stand up so that she can see everything um he. Like the she she puts she has like a couple of drawings in here like kids drawings of him that like they look <laughs> I mean it's like a kid you know drawing a stick <laughs> yeah, figure right it looks like, yeah, like a goat they're pretty down. terrible yeah they're pretty terrible but she mentions I'll post some that, of those on online so. she mentions that uh, like even though this is what he looked like necessarily like this was just like what she could sort of like what she was able to draw and describe uh um, and mind you of his parts, like of, but he that he never looked like devil. that entirely at any point like it was always yeah she said that she couldn't really see you it. couldn't see him as an is in his entirety it's like no maybe he flame. was the, the he was like a flame. sexiest of yeah. the angels well maybe but she's yeah. saying he's like a flame like ever changing like but right. it's like you can see the uh, form but it's never solid i don't know how to explain he it was, basically yeah. he was like uh she said uh, like a vapor um yeah he uh, he was either like parts of him were on fire, or you could see like some hands, or you could see his feet. Sometimes nothing else, and then like it was uh f just flames and uh, uh like black smoke, like a sort of like a like a storm, uh moving around him. And oh, yeah, that's uh, right. at one that's... point, and you could never see his face, like you'd only see his eyes. But at one point, she does see his face, and she says it's just a like a hole, like a void in his face, like there's nothing there. Uh, it was like a black pit. Well, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. So Satan is a uh, men in black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, but uh, so he uh, he's basically walking her along oh. the doing the the black mass. And yeah, I'm trying uh, to look for because there's a little there's a diagram here. Yeah, they, diagram. They it's show. in the shape of a a, they, a horned pig. It's, so it's got the two horns. He walked one horn is supposed to show yeah. her a vision of despair. Right. The other one is a vision of what is it? Of war hell. or something? Of hell. The vision of hell. Yeah. So they he goes to the right horn to start with the vision of hell and then shows like, her like, like this Holocaust is Holocaust and like like war and all that, right? right? Essentially. And then then shows her the vision of despair, which is basically the post apocalypse. You know, well, like, like she, people depressed and shit, like depression, right. like yeah. it's like yeah. I don't know. They're just they want so, so the horns of the horsemen of the apocalypse now? The um, horns of the apocalypse. If I'm not mistaken, the... <laughs> give... uh, read your Bible, Brian. And um, then the I'm ears, just... right? Or like his. That's when he like he talks about because it's supposed to be like a sermon. Because like apparently, right. uh, when yeah. a priest gives a sermon, he talks about the the state of the church in right. modern times. And or like their, at, at right their now. version of it is they, they talk about the opposite of everything. Uh, so, well, a twisted the version. Sermon. Of it. The priest picks a topic and goes over it. What's this? Yeah. It doesn't have to be modern times. Usually it deals with morality. Yeah. Sometimes it deals with, there's a football game later, and yeah. we're just going to move yeah. right yeah. along. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Those were like, the good masses. <laughs> um, but it's supposed to be just essentially the exact opposite, or like not exact opposite. It's actually supposed to be kind of uh, coincides exactly with how yeah. a mass goes, but it's just they're talking about Satan shit. Right. They were talking about, so like, they mentioned at one point, like how I think in Easter, they, they, uh, or like in Halloween or whatever, they, they celebrate the, I guess the passing of, of your loved ones. And in their case, I, I don't think it was Halloween uh, specifically. I'm just trying to remember one Saints of the things. Day? 
they mention uh, like the opposite of that in their in the Black Mass, and that the, is to say they they, they celebrate, celebrate the like a twisted of form of life, or uh, I, I can't remember whatever else, but. <laughs> The, right. Maybe like, I it's, it's basically they like just a, take whatever I, I guess he missed that. <laughs> they take whatever the themes that they use in the like typical mass, and they just turn it on its head. Yeah, just flip it on um, its head. So, um, it, and then he he then once he I think is it when he gets to the ears, I guess the snout. They make like uh, uh, that's when he starts making predictions of the future. Right, like what's yeah, gonna happen. the eyes, the eyes, uh, the the nose, oh, and the, the, eyes, mouth. The, the eyes are what he sees. Um, yeah. So I think that's where he starts making. Like predictions, and then yeah, he starts talking about his master plan. Like that's what right. the master plan that they're going. Oh, do. that's that's. Uh, I think that's the last one. The mouth. Okay, the, that's okay. It, so, the it, nose it, is it, what he knows, and the mouth is what he tells. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, with the eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm reading this. I'm nose, reading this off the diagram, dude. Like the that's nose what is what here. he knows, yeah. and the mouth is what he yeah. tells. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. Some of those rhymes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Through the eyes of a child. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. um, but he he mentioned some. Uh, the political powers, uh, or right. he mentioned some nations getting together. So I'm actually. What about I'll, Reagan? I don't know if he mentions Reagan so, though. But he, Carter? He, no, he mentions he mentions like you know uh, Israel and like basically all the big the, he the big Armageddon Russia, nations. Russia, Iran, and Iraq be, becoming so one. He, uh, I don't know, he man. Mentions, he mentions he kind of blew that one, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he mentions Okinawa. Um, Nothing's happened there since no, the 1950s. Well, again, this was in the. It's this originally this was in the fifties. So, right, Every, everybody looked yeah. at Okinawa. Okinawa. Was there a, a was there when a was earthquake or tsunami Before, or anything that happened right. recently or not recently, but like no, Okinawa's been chill since the nineteen forties. All right, yeah. there's yeah. no natural disasters of any kind that happened there or anything. I'm just no. trying to find because. I didn't really get a chance to do a lot of research on it, but I kind of wanted to see, like, since he was mentioning all these nations, like, well, what's going on now? Or, like, well, not even now. It would have been a few years earlier, but, like, what happened? To some... yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, they don't mention after the fact. Uh, well, I mean, like, I wanted to do some research and see oh. if there was any big, like, things that yes. went on 28 years later after she made the, or after Satan uh, here we go. made the prediction. Um, yeah, she, she says, uh, or he's, okay, so here's his. Oh, you cut off again, Roland. You cut off, man. Part of his prediction. She said what? Well, it's because she's recounting this, uh, but this is. But what, what did she say? We lost you. Oh, sorry. She said. Uh, she says Okinawa, and then she says Persia, Russia, Iran will mate. Persia. They will help open the gate. No time to see light. Worry about fate. Um, Wasn't Xerxes coming? All, right all countries round about <laughs> will start to yell and scream and shout. They think it means war, but it's only a way inside the door. All the countries r uh, around Rome, the place they think is home, all the countries you see, I set my Dude, traps, this is waiting for the boot to, to collapse. Hey, uh, what, what did they say about Persia and Iran? Just that uh, it's Persia, Russia, and Iran will mate. Okay, here's the problem. Persia was Iran, or Iran was Persia. Yeah. Right. Um, right. So they've become one. They've made it. They, they, they exactly. oh, it already ends. won. Yeah. I, yeah, I was like Persia. I was like, mm. It ends yeah, with well, uh, this last, this last. Xerxes coming said, back. Per What's going on? Persia, Iran, Atlantis. Yeah, uh, three hundred and two, three hundred and three. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Man. I um, think the messages are on every twenty-eight pages. <laughs> Um, the real ones. And I have to be honest with you, Roland. That's where I left off. I don't know what happened after all that. So oh. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bring us home, buddy. Well, I mean, so hit, hit that, us with that that at the end. Then. Satan did it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <That's>, so <laughs> turns out after that it was gone all along, guys. Uh, after that was when they started inducting like the new members, and that's where she mentions the bit about like people cutting off the middle finger. And so what happens is that. Uh, Satan has his altar and he lays a like a, a blanket over it and uh, or a, 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 a tablecloth, <laughs> I guess. Right. <laughs> Those plastic um, ones and, from the dollar and what she what she thinks are like was was original like designs, intricate designs on it. What, what turns out like it has bones that are sewed into it like lace. And uh, these all these new the new the newbies or whatever, the, the noob uh, 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 Satanists go up. Neo Satanists. Got it. And they they chop their fing their middle fingers off. And um, 
So Satan Clean like picks up those cloth. fingers and he puts them so in a box. So is that where the fingers go? Uh, like that answers the question. That's what happened to all these fucking fingers. Man. Yeah, like so they keep them and like he, he I'm assuming like later on he puts so those. So somewhere How in this Satan's, town, Satan's got the fingers. All right. <laughs> there is a tablecloth with a bunch of fingers in it. Well, no, right. Satan takes it so, home. Man. Oh, that's he takes it home. That's why you can't find it. <clears throat> that's why, that's um, where all the fingers went. <laughs> they also uh, they also sacrifice uh, have a few more sacrifices at that point. There's a they they bring a couple more in there. What the fuck? Yeah, they they mention a pubescent girl so i'm assuming like they have a teenager and uh satan that, like, that sacrifice her. he uh yeah. he cuts her in half and then quarters her and then throws her to the you know like each of the cardinal directions because each of those apparently have significance and then uh they also um some like i guess of the the female clergy or whatever they bring in these little bundles uh they don't explain what it is uh they're just more sacrifice they're probably more fetuses uh Oh, he yeah, sets them on fire, like he shoots fire from his hands and burns them to ash, and then takes that ash and blows it into in each of the directions, <laughs> because it's supposed to signify him spreading death. So um, does this ash stick to the uh, quartered girl that's in each of those four directions? Oh, I fuck if I know. I mean, sure, why not? Um, no, most of this, most of this does, is getting, of course most of the most of these things are are like scooped up and thrown in the fire as well. Oh, uh, right. at they're, one they're, point, like know, he whittles down a crucifix everything. and like he's just oh, rambling away. I forgot He's, about that. He rambles away about it. Like read, he, read the he starts rhyme, off. Read the rhyme on that. Oh man, it's it, it's kind of long winded. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Hickory dickory duck. <laughs> I'm gonna make a clock. <laughs> he's, he's yeah. He's whittling away a, a cross. And it, um, it, uh, now, Roland, I don't know if yeah. did the part. Is this a part where I'm, I'm sorry? Did he talk about like Jesus's dick at one point? Because like he they talk about where he yeah, gets to the yeah, loins, yeah. and I was like, yeah. what? Okay, so let's go ahead, <laughs> listen to this. Listen to it, Ray. It's, <laughs> Okay, so like, as he whittled, paring off countless slivers of wood, Satan flicked the fragments to the hungry fire. He had reached the loins of the corpus. Then I chip away at the part they say should be connected to the heart. But I can separate it with one cut and make it separate, make it smut. Leave barren a fertile place, just a body with no face. See, so yeah, he starts. I mean, he, starts and, and, he starts whittling away. We have to remember this is a five year old talking. Yeah. So right. Satan's taking Jesus's identity by Cutting making off his him nards. castrati. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, is he trying to say that he's got a small penis? Because he's like, I can. Cut it <laughs> right. Just he's one like, cut. Oh. <laughs> all it took is a little flick, and it's yeah. gone. Right. That's what I got. For, it was weird, man. I was like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it was. It was. <laughs> so, so he so starts Satan saying feet, that Jesus's yeah. power comes from his nuts. I don't right. know, man. Well, it, it was uh, like the, the, part, the part that's connected yeah. to the heart is apparently <laughs> the loin, the loinal. Uh, you go, if zone. you take a man's dick, you take his heart away too. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, kind yeah. of that's yeah. what I'm seeing there, man. And uh, you, you, you take away but, his face, his identity, because you know he's barren. Well, see, here's here's where that whole the body. The symbology goes into it. I'm wondering because the way he says. The place they say should be connected to the heart. Well, we all know, well, as the Bible says, Jesus was a virgin. So what is he trying to imply there? Like, Right. I mean, as true. the Bible says it, we're saying, like, we're, we're going with what Michelle's. Because this is all, like, actually, fantastical. Actually, does it actually ever really go into Jesus's virginity actually, in the Bible? I don't know, but I'm assuming. I don't uh, think so. Uh, no, or that's uh, a, he's, he's as pure I and thought, white as jizz. I thought, uh, <laughs> like, in the Jesus. unwritten, like, years or whatever, <laughs> that, that, that he actually out. did lay just, with just, a couple of women. Get, get rid of well, I know, I, I know, Roland, no, but I'm not, uh, we're going by, uh, but I'm not going by, like, the whole, uh, you know, modern interpretation of it, because, like, I guess at the time, yeah. I would assume that the classical <laughs> ideology is that he's, that a he's, cherry boy. that's what I, I don't know, man, because, did you say a cherry boy? Yeah, it's a cherry boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm, like, saying is, like, well, at least I've been topped, okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, Brian, you did say Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's I just wanted you to hear that part. He's trying to mention his penis. There. Roland, is there like any more that happens in the end of the story? I mean, that's like worth well, mentioning. Like, okay, so the Does way it go into the, the way wedding ends, between the therapist and the patient. No, no. Like uh, basically, oh, it just well, the story ends that. with like you know after she retells everything, and uh, they just go on to make it like to, to publish it and to, to like talk about uh, talk talk to uh, like the. I guess the, the the folks at the Vatican about it, you know, like other cardinals and, and priests to to try to psychoanalyze this stuff. But what what happens is that uh, 
at one point um she gets near the, the 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 cloth or whatever that's being used at the altar and she she snatches one of the bones off of there and like she hides it she uh, stole a bone from satan right so she stole he, satan's he, bone yeah he uh <laughs> he um <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't notice sure it did. first he doesn't notice it first um and then like he well, all of a sudden is just like hey like and it's really funny because like he's literal like like you've got my bone i want my bone it's mine give it here <laughs> Like he's, he's, it's he's like the pick talking. of destiny. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. he's talking. He's talking like an idiot, and um, she like is able to bury it, like because it, like in the conf- she buried. What Satan's happens bone? is that all of the 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 uh, oh, cults shit. cultists what rush happened? her, and like she gets ah, down on all fours and like kind of hides hides from them, and like buries it because the Roland. We we lost. Hold on, hold on, man. We we have like this oh. huge audio spike in our ears right now. Hold up. All right. Okay, you can recount. Go ahead. So the, uh, she buried Satan's bone. That's where yeah. we lost right, you. Yeah, because uh, the floor of that place is dirt. So she uh, is able to hide it from them because it's it's dark and they can't really see and they can't really get to her because like there's too many of them trying to get on her and like their their clothes get in the way, like their robes or whatever. And she's so, sort of like getting around them and they don't see her when she buries it. And so like she kind of runs oh. in the other direction and they stop her and they're like, open your hand. And she's like, oops, I got nothing, you know. <laughs> And they're like, you Oops. bitch. Uh, <laughs> you ruined my life. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you, like how dare you do that? Like that's that's ours. And and so like they they try to find it. Um, but, do they ever say where this is taking place? Like physically taking place? All right. So I always. It, it just says the round room that that I. Oh, think. so this is all going in the round room. Yeah, yeah. This is all okay. in the round room. Because like, yeah, I was I was at one point I was like, are they outside? Like where the fuck? Because yeah, because this? this is like it sounds like this is a fucking huge room. Yeah, like, exactly. They're doing uh, all this shit. But so it like it's the, uh, it's in that room center? and yeah. uh, the Canadian eventually <laughs> what happens Victoria is that they, they they go trying to find it and uh, to try to find the bone and um, the I forget if it's Michael or if it's Mary that uh, well I think okay what happens first is that while she has the bone Michael comes down and he blesses it and then she buries it and then. Um, I think Mary comes down after that, and and by come down I mean like it's just a presence near her that talks to her, to like sort of encourage her, and to help her just you know like in the moment, and they tell her like um, uh, the place like there's a place there that like one um the 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 devil threatens her. He's like, give me the bone or like I'm gonna I'm gonna make your mom sick. You want her to be sick? And he like he just like snaps a finger and she she gets. <laughs> You know, she's like, she's like, uh, uh, you know, like she's she's gonna be confused and, and wander like aimlessly he's forever. So, so and, and, like that's that's what she starts Jesus doing. Christ. Like, she just she starts the mom that doesn't really love her. Do you want to be sick? Yeah, and and the mom and 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 like Michelle's like, I won't do it. I won't do it. You know, whatever. And so like. At one point, the mother falls over, and like she falls right over the the location where the bone is, and there's like a flash, but they don't they don't find it. What happens is that, uh, like Mary, I think puts it in back in her in 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 her hand, and uh, she's like, just just hold on to it. Like they they'll they'll never find it, and um, apparently, like her doing that, the act of her getting this this little bone and oh. like having it blessed was uh like a part of a battle between this between satan's mass and like i guess those spirits uh at the time like they were they're like uh, they're having like a like a little i guess conflict or little war and her taking a piece of that of that uh uh the bone well yeah taking the bone but i mean like her taking a, it, like the symbolism to this was like her taking a piece of their uh offerings i guess their ritual and like converting it, or I should say, uh, um, stealing it. <laughs> um, the the act of her doing this uh, uh, beat them. Like they they lost uh, like a the battle or something like that because at least fifteen HP. What happens is that <laughs> Satan just gets pissed off, you know, because he can't find it. And he's That's like, right. "Fuck you! Like you're dead to me, little girl. Like we, you don't, you don't exist then, anymore. You're gonna go back to your mom, but then and she's gonna take you home. You. And like, I'm done you're with this. You're not gonna come to you know? our parties. He's like, yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm like, I'm, I'm disinviting you from the club, bitch. 
and uh, <laughs> that she didn't want to be a part of exactly. And so the they they finish up the ritual and like they all they all just leave. Like they're like, all right, look, look, get ready for next next time we meet, guys. You know, like be. I'm be gonna there, need be an square. extra finger. So right. is her taking the bone supposed to have? Uh, I guess stop some events or right, event like it later. postponed it for twenty eight. Oh, it 28 it years, basically yep. stopped them from trying to convert her further. Uh, I think like they basically just gave up on 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 her. Twenty eight years have passed. Well, somebody better get the boning. Yeah. Well, actually, it's been more than twenty eight. The next one would have been in two thousand eleven. Why? Well, well, that's true. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if they got together in Victoria. I have to plan it out. Wow. I guess. Um, Victoria, Texas. So, <laughs> like the the way that ends is that she literally just says, "That's it." Like I have nothing else to say, and that's that's the end of the chapter. And then it goes into the epilogue, to where they're like, "Okay, they're we're, we're taking all of this film, uh, uh, this footage, and all of this film we took in the recordings, and throw it right into the and, trash." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna we're forever. gonna put them in yeah. the Disney yeah. vault right next Ish. to Walt's frozen head. There you go. Nice. Yeah, so at the end, Doctor Pazzer's like, "Well, that was a big waste of time." Right. He's like, "That's it, really?" Yep. Yep. <laughs> I can't use this, bitch. No. Uh, okay, I, I had uh, read somewhere that they that there was mention. I don't know if it was in the book, but uh, like I said, I didn't get that part uh, far. But that mm -hmm. there was explained a way that. Like the scars she would have suffered from, like the torture, like basically Jesus and Mary, like kind of right. They mentioned like, they healed that her essentially, or like got rid of the scars. They they mentioned that like because she complains about the scars. Um, Mary says, "Oh well, my son has those scars as well because he went into hell after he died, you know, for a few days and then came back, and so they understand, like they empathize, and they tell her too, like, look, this is gonna." And she, uh, Michelle's, you know, crying about it. She's like, "This is." You know, I'm never going to be the same after this. You know, I've lost a lot of hair, and they're like, "Oh, your your hair will grow back." But yeah, like, you're never going to be the same. Like, and <laughs> like so, that's so, that's so Mary telling her this. Like, so yeah, basically, you they won't. just said like, uh, "No, you're good now. And, like, Tough everything's luck. fine." Yeah, like, exactly. Like, look, um, you're important, and it's going to suck. Like, that's it. <laughs> um, the end. You're going to be ugly, but <laughs> right. So okay. So yeah, like, uh, what did they what did they call them? I wrote it down. There was a phrase uh, that they called, like her hives or whatever that she breaks out in. Body memories. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, like, they're psychosomatic, I think is the phrase for it. Where yeah, psychosomatic. Where she's, yeah. she's reliving a particular trauma, and, you know, it brings out these those mm -hmm. those rashes and the scars. Because at one point, she burns her hand. Like, she... She sticks her hand in a fire because she has like a th she had uh, she has an imaginary friend I think through the book, oh, and they right, yeah, they right. find out about it at one point and they try to like yeah how do they, they try get, to how make they, like, the uh, they they try to um, personify to her her uh, her imaginary friend as an actual person, and yeah. she, she and Michelle at one point starts to believe like oh no that is my friend like that looks what they uh, what seems like is that they get a random girl and they just dismember her uh in front of her yeah. they knock out her teeth you know and then they they lay her down and like look you can save her come save her and she picks him up and the thing like literally falls apart its arms and its head roll off and and she's there struggling to try to put it back together and like you know telling them she's like she's hysterical help me put her back together and they're like nah but you can you can do it like you're a friend you can put it back together and then eventually she realizes fucking humpty dumpty that, dude <laughs> They, she, I think she eventually realizes that it's not, not her friend, or that it, like her friend is is a, an idealized Imaginary. version of herself yeah. within herself, that she will that will always be with her, doesn't and, exist in the physical realm. Right, yeah. right. So they they they, they, <laughs> they gather up the, the that corpse and they throw it away, or they excuse me, they throw it into the fire. <laughs> they throw it into the fire. And, Do you uh, know how well, hard that didn't it work. is to burn up all the bones in a corpse? I, that's I mean, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. The heart, the heart yeah. takes a lot to burn. I mean, yeah. I don't even know. There's, there's got to be a lot of like little fragments somewhere so, in Victoria, wherever the hell this they, is. They keep just a lot chilling of, out there to be found. They supposedly kept the, most of the remains of that to because these guys are, uh, if anything, if not anything, efficient. Like they reuse their bones. <laughs> yes, that's what I was <laughs> they reuse say. like a lot of the ash. They and, use every part of the body. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go green, guys. Yeah. Um, so at one, I, what was interesting is, and and they only mention it like in one. I mean, it just of takes a one guy losing a finger off the tablecloth. 
Right. And someone else so, finding it for there to be a whole police investigation. But, yeah. But but they don't make then those again, mistakes. If the cops is uh, <laughs> missing right. a finger. Because the devil is very damn, meticulous and he always counts too, everything out. He's like, whoa, whoa, hold just on. Too damn good. Well, he does there's, math. So that's I mean, right. There's 13 guys here. Like we've only <laughs> got <laughs> we've only one got finger <laughs> plus one finger. Hold on. Like everybody look fingers. around. Yeah. Like or ah uh, ah uh, George, did you not like hey. Hey, come shit. on. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Wait hand. a minute. Wait a minute. Both hands. <laughs> God, something's not adding up here. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Somebody did. Somebody's pussing out. Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to break out my calculator right now. My yeah. Texas instrument. So. <laughs> my, <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe this. Gonna, may, maybe Satan's got this. like some OCD shit, man. He's got like count yeah. everything. Like, it seems that way because like, like, they, like, they do actually mention like he spends a lot of time like counting out a lot of the bones and other things in there. And it's like. Like really, just dude? You, you, you're just counting collection. out. You're just counting out one for each year. So you're counting out 28 <laughs> bones. Like, how long does it take you to fucking do that? Like, you oh, need both shit. hands for this. Really? Wait, like, so does he make a new okay. tablecloth every cycle? I guess so. Um, right? Yeah. The so he spends ones. all his time. He's, he's yeah, 28 years to make a badass cloth, man. Yeah. Well, I, I understand shit, that. But like, is this like so? Is it like the forever quote? The Satanist forever quote? Like, like they use it every tablecloth for a while. Like they keep adding to it every 28 years. Those fucking bones. So. At one point, they do mention. Uh, I thought it's kind of interesting, uh, and it, it's only mentioned very quickly. And like, uh, I guess, uh, uh, what's the what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, um, it's uh, uh, they 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 finish like it's it's like a weird little uh, detail that um, they just finish up really quickly. It's like, oh yeah, this happened, and now it's over. Um, and by that, I mean like at one point the the devil's face like his face like he he gets a pig's face like an actual like okay it's not on fire it's not a void or smoky like he has a pig's face and he starts sniffing around like he's like sniffing the air and then all the other cultists do it too and they're like he's like oh we have a traitor in our midst like somebody in here's a total poser guys like find him <laughs> and like they're sniffing around and they start like rubbing up against each other doing like these weird like oh uh, if if you guys, so, you know, one guy with the pink robe, man, you know, right, somebody yeah, like, hey, like, he's like, got all ten fingers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, exactly. Hey. Right. Uh, they they're trying to. They, and so like, they they find the traitor, like, because they're they're apparently like supposedly doing like yeah. particular uh, like handshakes or rituals and shit to where it's like ah ah ah, you know, like you lost the thumb war. He's the traitor. Yeah. Stab hey him in the back. This guy's only got his middle finger tied down. Right. <laughs> Shame him, yeah. <laughs> shun the unbeliever. So they stab him in the back, and like, <laughs> and they just, they just throw him on the fire. Uh, <laughs> sure, is a lot of that going on. <laughs> yeah, man, they got they got yeah. fires going like all the they, time in this fucking book, man. They, Jesus, uh, they're the they're the uh, main uh, reason for deforestation in Victoria. <laughs> <All this right. laughs> Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, um, so that was it. Was clean, really quick. efficient burning hell. So I only <laughs> use propane. That's right. Uh, clean, um, efficient. Fuel. I guess. I guess cycle all the way back to the beginning of the book, and I'm assuming she's. I guess Doctor Pazders convinced the regional. I guess whatever bishop or cardinal to oh, go to yeah. Vatic to go to the Vatican to help her tell her story to the right the big Kahuna. Uh, right. I don't know. I can't remember the guy's name, but. He doesn't believe her at first. And oh, it's like, oh, that's... Uh, I, I was laughing so much when I told... Because uh, this is the first thing you read. And I was telling Ray, is like, um, he's like, impossible. I've been to Victoria, Canada. There's a civilized there's a civilized country or some shit like that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. what? I was like, I don't know. It was just funny, man. Um, fuck. Speaking of... You... Oh, go ahead. No, I was, I, was, I was looking for a picture because they have a picture in here of him. He's on the caption. That's exactly... That's not exactly what he says, but he's like he's he he goes in as a ah here we go, um, a Bishop Daru with uh, Sergio Cardinal Pignadoli. Yeah, uh, he's skeptical, and then he becomes concerned and asks for a study of uh, of the story of Michelle's story. And yeah, this is uh, I guess this is that's when that's the part you. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Well, yeah, so I guess they end up getting it. So whatever became of the investigation, do we ever know? And like, even if they did, what are they gonna do? Just send like a bunch of exorcists to Victoria, or like oh. the Vatican just gonna start war with like Canada? Or, I don't well, know. I mean, uh, uh, they don't yeah, really it, say like what what is what's gonna ha what's gonna come of it if they find out. I mean, what are they gonna do? Well, I mean, sue I, Canada I, I, for yeah, being saying they this. They can't really do too much. I mean, I mean, after the fact, she just 
basically represses it, goes back to her life. Uh, but I mean, uh, like as a child, uh, but. Oh, no, I know. But I mean, as, as when she, well, after, after her story, we, well, after, yeah, after team, they don't, is there any, I don't know. I haven't looked it up, but I'm just curious if there was anything that went further if uh, they did get an investigation to go on. Yeah, into all so that. it says here that uh, when Michelle's remembering was finished, uh, uh, Dr. Pazder asked a priest and a scholar, Father Amade Dupas, to make a thorough investigation. Um, they spent like 18 hour uh, days for a week um, uh, going through all of her uh, his notes and questioning her, uh, watching the tape recordings and. Uh, Sorry, listening to the tape recordings and I assume watching the videos because, like, towards the end of the movie or movie, <laughs> a book, like, he gets some. Ca- <laughs> well, some, it some sounds cameras. like it's, it's like, written he like a movie. Yeah, he, he brings in another guy and, like, they record her with, like, I think two or three cameras. And that's how they uh, got, like, those pictures in the fucking book. I mean, right. Um, uh, Bishop. And she consented to this, right? Yeah. So like the, they, they just like she went, as she's un, as she's under they yeah, like, yeah she does she does and uh, uh, Pazda even <laughs> even mentions that he was kind of concerned Pazda <laughs> mentions like, that you're in filming right uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> he he mentions that like he was kind of worried that she wasn't going to want to allow anyone else to be there or that she would be uncomfortable like and not be yeah. able to like express herself like the way they were uh, in their in their yeah. uh, sessions was, but she apparently had like, no trouble uh, getting yeah. back into it. With Basically, there. he was worried. Uh, this bitch ain't gonna let me get my money. Nope. <laughs> um, Speaking the way of the this, book uh, ends, though, is is just that the bishop's study. It says the bishop's study of the case is proceeding. Uh, they organized a three thousand page transcript of the tapes and placed it with uh, the bishop for safekeeping. Um, they have every confidence that in due course, put it in a filing cabinet her, somewhere. Yeah, her study will reach everyone that it was intended for. So it doesn't really seem that. Like you know anything comes of it that's at least not within this book i don't well i mean that i think I the know. aftermath of the book is when, after it's published um is, the, is, for is, is the main is yeah. what sparked um a that lot movement. of the the movement going on but right. um Period. what i told bryce and he didn't know this uh, i'm surprised because uh, I, I thought it was just something that was just out in the open uh it, well, it is but it just I, didn't come across it is that they actually got married yeah, see, I didn't do any research. I, I, I knew about the what? book. They were oh, both see, Catholic well, and both divorced Wait. spouses no, and married see, each no, other. They, no, no, well, no. See, but she wasn't divorced when, when she was going yeah, through the Yeah, she was married. The yeah. Yeah. Was married. And so yeah. was Pazder. Was so was Pazder. Yes, and they both divorced their spouses oh, that's right. was and got married, married to yeah. each other. Well, I know, wow. but, uh, God damn but that's it. what's funny. In a very Yeah, see, I didn't know that shit, Roland, and I was like reading this book, and I'm like, the way they're writing it, I was like, man, they really are like complimenting each other quite a bit. Yeah. And it's funny, because there's a part where she starts talking about her husband being like, like oh he's kind of like you know distant he doesn't really seem to care right. about what's going and he, on and, and then like, he says or someone well i don't know if she was talking to him or to the priest but they were just telling her like well look you know like this is important for you to go through it and like you're going to change like you know and at the very least like you'll have I've this changed. like this understanding Whoa. of yourself like to establish new and better friendships or whatever and i was like Ugh. well if and here's what's funny is if if dr pazler is like as devout a catholic does a devout a catholic as he says he is uh divorce is a big no-no in the catholic religion right and it's very hard to get the, your uh marriage um i guess an old or i don't know what they right. would call yeah. it and, it would and, be annulled by the church uh, yeah but yeah that it's doesn't very, really happen it's very except difficult in extreme yeah, circumstances extreme so, so they legally mm-hmm. divorced their spouses and married each other. Well, I know yeah. that, but I'm just saying if he's so according to the church, they're he's... totally well. Yeah. They're both dead, or at least he's uh, dead. <clears throat> Actually, it they, they mentioned like what uh, what they made from this book was like three hundred and seventy some thousand dollars. Um, wow. Again, in eighties money, what was it moving? In eighties money, yes. Whatever, whatever that would 80s be. Eighties Canadian money. Yeah. 80s oh yeah, that's money. true. That's right, yeah. Well, all those taxes, though, man. That's right. Um, so they got married and they did go on tour, like promoting the book and stuff like that. They did go on Oprah. Oprah. Uh, I could not find Good any luck sort of, some uh, footage of that. Could not find right. any footage on that whatsoever. Oprah's got that shit locked tight in the Disney vault in next the to the tapes yep. uh, of of the actual, <laughs> right. the what? actual stuff that went down in the therapy that's session. That's right. Yeah. right. Uh, and uh, the stuff that sparked after this book, I mean. Um, this is fucking crazy stuff. 
um, a bunch of like documentaries that you can find on YouTube. Oh, you can find a lot of documentaries. Um, regarding uh, satanic, satanic influence on uh, the media, uh, music. Toys. Um, so, there was actually a, a, a case toys. that went on after this. <laughs> no, uh, um, there's, I'm there's a lot of this, satanic rituals, oh, wow, no uh, daycares yeah. and stuff like that. Well, the He-Man toy. There's a, you can watch this documentary on YouTube. It's called Deception of a Generation. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, They yeah, talk yeah. a shit ton about like the He-Man toys and all yeah. that. Based, Smurfs. They're all I've based on occultism. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. I, I would like to very briefly point out an, something from an article are you done, Roland? <laughs> oh, no, I, I was just going to mention uh, because you guys had said they made about three hundred thousand. <laughs> right? How much? No, you're making a lot of noise, man. <laughs> oh, what? Really? That's weird. Took, yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing shit. I, I okay. thought you were. Excuse okay. me. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, Roland. I, I just really. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything, dude. Just took that as an All opportunity right. to keep like oh, I'm just going to go on. <laughs> yeah, seems that way. Um, no, there's a 2002 article by Kirk. Coo, I don't know. Kahulahan, Kahulahan. I don't know. Sorry, I'm mispronouncing their name. But um, this this author hi, debunked a bunch of debunked a bunch of the whole story, but hypothesized that Smith's motivation motivation for making the allegations may have come from her desire to spend time with Pazder. Mm-hmm. That's true, man. Probably. I was thinking, I was telling Bryce that I was like, <laughs> could have been a possibility that she was experiencing some kind of like past life uh, occurrence or something. But I mean, that could be, that seems more rational, well, it, right? That she wants to spend time with him. So she was just making all this shit up. Yeah. Oh, the doctor wants some crazy stuff. I'll give the doctor <sighs> some crazy stuff. Right. But but the thing is, they, they make mention in the book that she doesn't seem one to want like all this attention or want like uh, cr- uh make up all this crazy stuff because she seems just like a normal person who right. married her therapist yeah yeah that's after the fact though yeah yeah how do you think it got to the point where she could convince him to leave his wife touch me talk to pastor <laughs> touch me yeah exactly <laughs> I don't know that picture in that book you showed me it, it probably uh, wasn't that difficult them, like, I know, close to like, each other was like point. weird is shit I know at one point, like both of their spouses were getting sort of like uh, distant and and estranged from each other because of the meeting. Because all well, yeah, the time they're they were spending, spending like, together. Yeah, like how many hours? Yeah, I mean, you shit, started dude. in the middle, rolling. And, and, and well, here's well, yeah, yeah, and here's another part of the book that's interesting is uh, the Doctor Pazder. He goes. I guess he has to. Uh, I I don't know how she's paying for it. I don't know if she's got insurance or whatever, but he has to go. It's Canada. Well, yeah, but he has to go to ah, some free healthcare. No, yeah. well, the reason I make a mention of Dang. that is because there's a part of the book where he has to go and talk to somebody to get uh, approval permission. to do permission. Yeah, approval permission to go to ex- have extended uh, studies. Sessions. Yeah, because uh, he, it was uh, it was her insurance. They only covered like yeah, his. Uh, they only that's covered how, him up. That's how it works. They only yeah. That's all. Right, that's you've how. You got to get works. approval. They don't. The they don't allow. They only allow he had for a certain though, amount. He was going to do it even whether they approved him or not. But that like getting that. Well, they did. Was, like, it was. He was so like, come oh, on, that's... man. I mean, that's yeah. money in the bag right there exactly. too. It's like he, he mentioned that. Specifically. You sure you can't go on the show? You sure just a little bit more? Come on. He's like, fuck, good. I just bought all this camera equipment. I can afford this shit. Yeah, that was another thing. I was like, this motherfucker has all this goddamn gear like god damn it yeah Lucky well, it was he, came, he, he came to the burning with two cameras around his necks man yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's fucking neck. exactly then later um, on, i've got a long this. lens and a wide yeah. angle <laughs> Sorry. just in case um so, so he basically sets his, his his office up as a like a, a studio or whatever fucking recording studio and yeah. shit right <laughs> yeah. he's got like he's over there in the fucking corner with like a mixer and shit like all right we're gonna add some like ambient music on this right here <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, reverb to her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. to delay her, to her here, voice, a little, yeah. some some effects. Uh, one big thing we didn't mention, uh, Ray, earlier, and and Roland um, is mm-hmm. at one point uh, he does make, make mention of who's doing it, and it's Church of Satan, which he says true, is yeah. an organization that's been around longer than Christianity or longer than the the, <laughs> the Christian Church or some shit. Well, that's <laughs> kind of difficult. Okay. <laughs> Brian Brian's face when he said that, yeah. he just like looks up like. And and uh, Doctor right? Pazzer, uh, well, I, gotta I guess that's that he, not entirely. It would make sense that that the in a Church pagan of sense, Satan, I suppose. But. No, no, no. Think about it. Let's go with the Judeo-Christian tradition. Pre-Jesus, God's favorite people are Jewish. 
Satan. Uh, well, you know comes what? He's down. Not, uh... Then you got all the people that aren't really Jewish, your pagans and whatnot. So they can't be for God. Not saying anything bad about pagans. This is a hypothetical world. Form the Church of Satan. Everything goes on. Jesus comes down you know, out of Mary and goes on the cross and gets dead and then rises up and all that. Yeah, so he's got like a good few thousand years on Jesus and Christianity. Yeah, but I mean, he's I think he's just refer, referring to the Church of Satan, like that Anton LaVey stuff. Which oh, well, that happened, doesn't like, count. Before. Yeah, it doesn't count, but I mean, I think that's what he was referencing. But uh, mm-hmm. I think they're, he's replying, referring to the devil as being like, like one of the oldest evils in like all the world predating Christianity. Right. And he just misspoke by saying, or mistyped by uh, typing in the church of Satan, yeah. which was an actual organization that was like founded in like the sixties. Well, uh, uh, Anton LaVey was going to sue for libel. Yes. Yeah, so Anton were, yeah. LaVey is a big reason why this uh, movie didn't get made. And, and the Michelle's father, father yeah. because he didn't want to get made because he was saying uh, he Basically saying that like, all this is a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> He's like, and she doesn't mention anything about her siblings in the whole book. The mother died in the 60s. Yeah, well, she died when she was and everybody, yeah. everyone you yeah. talked to, of course, they could be saying this, but uh, everyone they talked to said the, the mom was like super nice lady, super sweet. Of course, again, maybe they were saying this. But, uh, Did has anyone ever seen fingers? Race with the Devil? Uh, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Also man. in the 70s? Yeah, that's true. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of uh, inconsistencies with your story. I mean, I don't, well, we kind of spoke on them for the most part earlier, but um, that was one of the big things I want to bring up, the Church of Satan. That's what he says. And another thing, too, uh, Dr. Pazder, apparently, he likes to make mention that he's um, very well-traveled, and he yeah. keeps going back to how all these like satanic rituals remind him of West other, African secret right, societies. Yeah, other Pazuzu. <laughs> yeah, other yeah. Pazuzu. Yeah. 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 <laughs> been studying yeah. for the years. But he, keeps make, he, he specifically keeps making mention of African. I'm like, dude, is this Pazuzu, are you a little, Va- you a little racist? Very exorcist, man? too. Yeah. <laughs> was his but um, main, I, I did find out some pretty... Well, I did find out some pretty interesting stuff that uh, about the West... Uh, about West African secret societies. That actually was a thing that happened in the 50s. Oh, and, uh, like some kind yeah. of satanic ritual thing? The part no, it's not. It's, it's, uh, there was some like, um, you can find the, uh, look it up. It's like a, it also happened in the schools a lot. They had like fraternities that would do like these like secret rituals and stuff like that. Uh, look up the leopard men. Uh, it was kind of interesting. They were, they were, they were accused of, I don't know if it's, but there, some of their stuff was that they would, uh, practice cannibalism and stuff like that. But, um, that was some pretty interesting stuff. I'd like to do some more research on that. But apparently during the 1950s in West Africa, there was like a, a lot of these secret fraternities. I don't know. It sounded pretty interesting. Uh, real quick about the witchcraft in the city part that's in the appendix. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, the... I don't know. You all may have covered this. The the evangelical even evangelist... Um, who said they were nearly sacrificed? They uh, they got sued, <laughs> and it was revealed that uh, the evangelist Lynn Olson yep, that's had him. been delusional due to drug use. Yeah, mm. <laughs> apparently yeah. he was tripping balls. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, there you go, man. No, oh, yeah, that's yeah, exactly who's mentioned here. Lynn Olson, now living in Vancouver, formerly of Victoria where he says he was a member of one of five local groups of witches belonging to the Church of Satan of Canada. <laughs> um, <laughs> says they could live next door to anyone undetected. Where they always Except say they're they sorry after being sacrificing. Balls. Right. Mm-hmm. And as we've come to realize that, like, um, a lot of the, um, the Church of Satan scare um, was unwarranted because, I mean, yeah, it's just because the, the word Satan and, like, the idea of Satan... Uh, freaks out a lot of people, especially right. around that time. It's just like uh, a lot of, there was a lot of fear put into it. Trials. Right, exactly. And burn little, them. Uh, hey, we has got something in common. Yeah, we uh, used to burn witches. Satan would burn his sacrifices. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, well, un- unbeknownst back. to like the main, uh, the I mean, they were going to ask for help from the Catholic Church when the Catholic Church was actually diddling little kids. Yeah. Uh, I can't say yeah. overall the Catholic well, Church the was church diddling wasn't, kids, but, like, but there was individual priests, priests There was a lot were, of priests going and on. They the church was just, yeah, yeah exactly. The and church the church covered it up, up too. So I mean that didn't come out till later. Even Gee, though guys, those, uh, this is gonna look bad if we get if he gets caught. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of people that were aware of this, but no one spoke about it. No, because of and that's, uh, ev- their, that's everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. like uh, they're 
few cases here in the valley. I think there was one that was in. Oh, I'm sure there was. Oh, yeah. the the priest just, I got first holy communion from. Mm -hmm. Apparently, molested people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you one of them? No. I don't know that anyone. <laughs> is, that's what I was. I don't know that anyone at my school <laughs> was, but they moved him. And he, then he, I think he's the one that fled to Mexico. You know what that reminds me of is that oh, it's always sunny episode when uh, oh, Mac is trying right. to like, uh, find out why the coach didn't molest him or something. Right. And it's oh. like, was I not hot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was, I was, uh, I was thinking more of the episode where uh, Mac I was thinking and there's uh, also Dennis. a South Park episode. Right. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I was I was thinking more of the episode where uh, Dennis and, and uh, Charlie were making that uh, like the the rape, filing a rape report at the police station, and and, Char <laughs> and Charlie's talking about how like they got inside Dennis and he's like no no like they, they, they kind of just grazed like no it was more like it just like you know scraped along me or whatever the hell and Charlie was like oh no it was like all the way in like fucking balls deep or whatever the hell you said <laughs> <laughs> all right well um is there anything else we need to add about this uh michelle remembers or so, anything we're going to satanic but satanic panic is this huge fucking thing uh that happened in the 80s we can get more that into could it that could get its own, that's an episode. own episode necessarily oh yeah uh, as far as this I, i'm willing to say if i had to like bet money or my soul <laughs> Yeah. On this, you know, being factual or not, well, mind you, I would call uh, bullshit. Well, mind you, it was all like kind of debunked later on because, again, there was a lot yeah. of investigations going on with uh, the locations that she described. Again, it's some of the well, scars and stuff. None of it. Yeah. Think, there was think no about how many things I brought up here before I even looked at the Wikipedia article. It's like, oh, don't you think you'd notice if a bunch of people you, in town were noticing, you know, right, they were right, missing exactly, middle yeah. fingers? Like if you see, well, and even at, wasn't there like a interview? I was saying you, that there was an interview with Doctor Paz there after all the shit happened, and like the guy asked him, like, "Well, what do you think? Like, is 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 it really like this happened to her, Michelle, or is it just like this is the way she remembers it that's important?" And he's like, "Well, I think it's the, I think it's like just how she remembers experiences it. Yeah, it. Like yeah, that's yeah. what's important, and like so he that's, doesn't that's even that's what he, he that's how he rationalizes in the book. Yeah. In other like, words, look, she believes this, therefore. Yeah. It, yeah, for like it's incredible. It doesn't world. matter if it was like a hundred percent. Like it, it happened, and that's what it, that's what's important. She, it it and, doesn't and, seem and, like she's making it up and, to herself. And you know who knows? I mean, maybe something did happen to her. Like as far as like maybe she was sexually assaulted, and then she just you know her mind fabricated like all this crazy stuff. But um, coping mechanism. Yeah, that and uh, you know when people go under hypnotherapy, uh, if somebody is very suggestible, it's very easy to plant. You know, memories and right. Like right, kind right, of yeah. skew those memories. So, who knows? especially or, if you're overtly Catholic. Well, yeah. Nah, I mean that part. But doesn't she wasn't have to do. I mean, she was, was at, at one that, point. Was she was no, Catholic at that point. Yeah, she was she Catholic. Wasn't she wasn't baptized though. She wasn't baptized. She was, she was very... full of Satan. She was full. Of Satan. <laughs> I mean, like so. <laughs> well, no, but see that you know, like they, she undergoes what seems to be electric shock therapy and. uh Got oh one. really? When does that happen? Um, so when she starts seeing I, I, the, it's it's after she starts seeing the doctor, like after she has those like horns and tail surgically, uh, implanted on her. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot like, yeah, I, I forgot yeah. about that too. Like she has these things like implanted on her, and this, and they put her back into the effigy statue, and yeah. then she escapes and like rips them I forgot off. Forgot about that shit. Yeah. When she realizes what they are, she rips the horns off her head and tears the tail off, and she's just bleeding all over the place. I think that was you also know, one of the things the that scared funny the kids. Thing. Um, so I was kind of like as, iffy on that because I was like, as really? far as plastic surgery and whatnot, didn't didn't that just become a thing where you could actually get the horns and tails implanted? And have, I, I mean, not necessarily tails, but horns. I don't know. People I just started uh, thinking about the fucking Simpsons episode thread, where he the super glue and but staples. There was uh, <laughs> hot glue. There was a few yeah, episodes uh, where she meets that doctor, and like on one of them, uh, she remembers oh, what she remembers. Right, the doctor too. Forget about like, the the wire like the that she remembers being hooked up to wires like they, yeah. they lowered wires under her head and that like she'd been drugged up so she couldn't feel uh, she couldn't necessarily out, feel buddy. anything like um they hold on like i have it written down what they thought that uh, i had totally forgot had. about all that it was a uh, methadrine or and... amidol i forgot to look it yeah, up amidol, yeah. um but they were like yeah it sounds like you might have been under that and she remembers being hooked up to the wires and then like her body like she described that her body started jumping and dancing kind of like like, like, and they were saying Whoa. around her, they were saying, oh, yeah, uh, it's in the electricity. 
And so I just sort of sort of thought that they were referring to shock therapy. Uh, it, later on, at one point, all uh, sounds like stuff of them trying to just break her. Right. Uh, yeah. That was that like, was as well what they were trying to do yeah. as well. They were they were telling her they were the whole time like you know they when they had her under under the I guess like doped up. Um, they were telling yeah, her that yeah. she's worthless. Like no one's ever gonna risk you know love her. You know, they were just telling her other things, and that's when the doctor, uh, 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 pass, pa passer, mentions uh, that she was possibly brainwashed or, um, or like put in through some kind of like suggestive uh, uh, procedures. Um, later on, they also try to do some Frankenstein shit. That that same like not 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 her the the therapist doctor but the like the satan doctor yeah <laughs> seems like, like they, i forgot about that they, they part, yeah because he's only mentioned like a few <sighs> times and I, I was just remembering now like they they like strap her to a gurney and uh they take her into a room full of like uh um cadavers and like he starts he starts the, he starts he your new friend. and then he also does something there's a lot of butt stuff in this yeah book, yeah, man. yeah like yeah. this is a lot he, of <laughs> at one point like the guy like dismembers these these uh uh cadavers and like reassembles them but like back or not but backwards like he'll put like women's legs on the man's torso and uh this is this is a fucking movie right i mean this yeah. is a fucking movie right up, happened. Uh, man like, I'm I'm sure sure happened. and then and then, and then at one point like movie. he hooks them up to what she says are just like thick black wires it sounds like they hook them up to like a car oh, battery no, or something off, he starts man. like electrocuting them and they start jumping around she's and she's <laughs> freaking out she's like what the hell is this like he's they're not to supposed some to dr frankenstein shit up yeah <laughs> and uh and then they put her and then the wolfman came out and they uh, they hook her up to the wires at one point and then like I don't think she was the where I get kind of confused before how they mentioned the electric shock therapy as opposed to then is that I don't think she was under the influence of any uh, sedatives at that point because she like re she says she recoiled in pain like when they hooked her up and she got they started yeah. shocking her at that point she's like what the fuck you know Bruh! and like she falls over and just starts you know uh, twitching or whatever as they're as they're zapping her. Well, um, if it's true electric convulsive therapy, uh, they wouldn't. You really don't actually have any memory of it happening to you because it, it basically it causes you to have like a, a sort of like a seizure in a way, and you don't really yeah, have like, a memory yeah, of the like actual amnesia, procedure like happening. A, like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah which, it fri which it to fries me all sounds the synapses like, in your brain. Yeah, which to me sounds like part of why they're trying to like do the brainwashing and all that. They're trying mm -hmm. to fuck up our memories and all. I don't know, but. They succeeded. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like <laughs> I they, would say so. They, and that's why she started seeing the devil. No. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. But like the, the, the whole satanic panic thing, man, that's like a whole, I mean, you can just go into a whole. Other yeah. Episode, we'll, we can go into that at some point or another, like uh, all those little um, scares that people had. Again, there was a, an actual court case that uh, a court case where people were accused. It was the uh, McMartin case where there was a daycare that was mm -hmm. uh, being accused of uh, satanic ritual abuse from like uh, of these a children. Where we can all just chill and watch the watch them all, all the documentaries like the Ken Burns no, sure, um, satanic panic uh, documentaries Ken Burns I I, I, I need know, to see it. those okay yeah, I didn't hear about that uh, we're gonna so, bring this sarcasm, we're gonna bring this yeah. episode to a close um again like I said there's a lot of shit to go through even with this and this is just one book and it's a fast, it's lot. a really fast. Yeah. It's, it's, it's written and, pretty I mean, well. Like just the real guy, quick before we before we go on, uh, Bryce. Yeah, good job. Would you uh, would you recommend people read this book to someone or to anyone? To someone like a child, like yeah, a, like a, a, child. Like, <laughs> like a <laughs> bedtime yeah. story. Yeah. Um, you know what? What the hell? Yeah, I would. I mean, if don't it's entertaining. I wouldn't ex I'll yeah, it, it's, it's entertaining. entertaining. Like I honestly wish they kind of had made it into a movie because it would have been a pretty. It would have been really fucking cool. It would have been a cool movie, man. Well, you know, could have been maybe than somebody the should make if somebody could make it nowadays because we all know it's, just, it's been debunked. It's fictitious. Get, it's, it's get fictitious. rid of the Church of Satan. Yeah, let's find a, the, the church. Change the names. Through. Like you don't have to fucking uh, use the names. It doesn't <laughs> have to be made as like a damn documentary. Like just make it a fictitious movie. Like change all the names. Change the Church of Satan. Fucking make yeah, who, who owns the rights movie. to the book now? I, I don't even know if anyone do does because like. It's out of print. It's out of print. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean that the right. Oh, I know. Right. Right. That's well, true. the doctor's dead. Who was oh, uh, Roland? Who was the publisher for the book? Um, hold up. Have a look. See. 
Let's contact them and ask them if we can make them move. right. Go oh, ahead, I am smoothie. totally down. He's like, can uh, I play Satan? <laughs> that's gonna be like, uh, they're just gonna call him like, we. Oh yeah, that's right. We printed we printed that book, right? <laughs> and um, I'm a method actor. Be like, I just I think you should still know that. So I'm gonna shit? need some real fingers. Priest of the beast. Yeah. Priest of the beast. <laughs> Just make it to a musical. Yeah, like, <laughs> beast, trying to find beast of the beast, beast, beast. Why do you it's interrupt me? Uh, my feast of the beast. I can't stand Congdon you in the and... least. <laughs> it's a Condon? weird name. Con- Congdon and La- Lattes Incorporated? <laughs> what the hell that is, man? I am subsidiary of Starbucks sure Incorporated. That's not like that's the uh, publisher. Sure. Well, like, I can't find I can't find anything else here, dude. Like it only says like Are you sure the, maybe, uh, maybe late. Late. No, well, it was, yeah, no. Look, dude, it, that is that's the publisher. Then condes and lattes. Condes and la- lattes. How do you spell latte? Like two T's? Yeah, lattes. L A T T. Oh shit. Okay. That's how it's fucking spelled. <laughs> just, just spell Mark. what you see. I just, I just told oh, you, man. Condon L and no, L we'll A double T. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. That's lattes. Yeah. Lots. Yes. Lattes. Yeah. Lots. Um. Oh, no, actually, I think that, that is the publisher. Beast dude. of the beast. That's. Uh, the and then add, add, your, add your lyric. I can't stand you in the least. Yeah, there you go. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so uh, again, <laughs> bring this episode to a close. Valley Strange episode number three. Follow us on social media: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And uh, if you want to go on Patreon to give us some money, because apparently we're having audio difficulties, and we're gonna need to buy something new. Uh, maybe some mic wires or something, because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Or it's just Satan trying to attack us, all right? Because we're making right. fun of him trying and his sense. feast trying of the beast. Stuff. His What's feast on, of the man? beast, yeah, right? Maybe tonight was the Feast of the Beast and we didn't even know it. Oh, yeah. we missed Te- it. Technically, it's uh, it's not Halloween yet. It's like uh, about an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes yes. till. It's going but it's all Feast Eve. Beast mode, man. It's all, is it all Hallows Eve? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, that's tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not midnight yet. Okay, so again, yes. uh, we're recording this before Halloween. And again, uh, all today's been kind of weird, Bryce. I mean, we've had like weird weather coming through. We had yeah, fucking, what we, was it you say? Transformer exploded. Transformer exploded outside. Well, we knew the weather was going to, but uh, I mean, the Transformers probably related to it. But like, I mean, they were trying to be a sh- uh, shift change. I wouldn't have made it possible. That's so. right. This this almost didn't happen, to, too, because he you almost had to close tonight. Yeah, so. Huh. And uh, audio problems. Our audio problems. All like, throughout. All throughout this whole fucking thing. So if anyone's listening, again, we apologize for all the little spikes and like shit Pops I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and clean it up as best as I can but please stick with it um, but I should probably say it's in the beginning of the episode hold on these are the dangers we have to face for you guys I'm gonna do like a do quick disclaimer and put this in the beginning this clap alright man Ray should have been like start with difficult teaser <laughs> <laughs> do the whole back mess yeah. thing, right? I, I hope you like the soul depending on it yeah, part. Yeah. thank you okay so um, again I said uh, Patreon social media Dot, 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 dot. Rate and review us on iTunes, Google Podcasts, uh, follow us on Spotify. Um, uh, if you like the episode, give us a thumbs up or like comment on any of those social medias. And um, dot, 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 I'm thinking, 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 thinking off the top of my head. I mentioned I got, Patreon already. Yeah, I didn't mention Patreon already. They could follow me on Instagram, but you I don't can know. Follow, you want to follow like any of us on Instagram or something, I am at... I don't even remember. I think it's like Ray L. Ray Moquest. I'm not too I sure. Don't know. What are you, Brian, on <laughs> well, Instagram? I'm, I'm BS Hoke. BS Hoke, right? Uh, Roland, never mind. <laughs> uh, Roland's on Instagram. Roland's on Instagram. Yeah, yeah like, but I don't. He, use he, doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't use any of the social media shits. Uh, okay, so uh, again, follow us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And again, sorry for the audio um, crackles and pops and snap crackle rice krispies and all that kind of stuff. Feast um, of the beast. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, My name is Ray. Breakfast of the Beast. <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> Bryce. And an uh, undisclosed slowly. bunker. Roll in your ass. All right. Yep, that's me. See y'all next time. Dosh Vidanya. Hell Satan. Blue midges coming to my house. It's ridiculous. I had some kind of a rectal probe. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous.